Alright, we are live as you can see. It took a while for the game to get snatched up by OBS, but it did it. We continue Mass Effect. I was thinking about playing uh, Skyrim's is today, but I couldn't resist. I wanted to play some more Mass Effect. I might do half and half, we'll see. But I want to get out there in the space, see what space is like, you know, reach the final frontier and all that stuff. You know how it is. Let's see. Let's resume last time on Dragon Ball Mass Effect. All right, so let's see. So last time we talked to Captain Amberson, Anderson about the thing. They gave us the ship here, the Normandy. SR1, this is our ship now. And uh, that fella right there, he stepped down. Captain Anderson is no longer the captain of the ship. Instead, I'm the captain now. <laughs> Inspect Normandy. Look at that. I had a little option. That's hey Xboxer, how's it going? That's actually something to do here. I've been up since four o'clock in the morning, so I might get tired early, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Right now I'm all hopped up on work. Got a bunch of stuff done, you know, how endorphins get get to flowing when you get things done, and it wasn't all physical. Well, it was physical, but it wasn't like strenuous physical stuff. Uh, escape button, codex. There we go. Let's listen to some more some of these things as while well, waiting. Combat hard suits use a d all modern infantry weapons from pistols to assault rifles use micro scaled mass accelerator technology. Projectiles consist of tiny metal slugs suspended within a mass reducing field. Accelerated by magnetic force to speeds that inflict kinetic damage. The ammo magazine is a simple block of metal. The gun's internal computer calculates the mass needed to reach the target based on distance, gravity, and atmospheric pressure. Then shears off an appropriate sized slug from the block. A single block can supply thousands of rounds, making ammo a non-issue during any engagement. Top line mm. weapons also feature smart targeting that allows them to correct for weather and environment. Firing on a target in a howling gale feels the same as it does on a calm day at the practice range. Smart targeting does not mean a bullet will automatically find the mark every time the trigger is pulled. It only makes it easier for the marksman to aim. Biotics is the ability of rare we already individuals in biotics, to manipulate so an artificial intelligence is a self-aware computing system capable of learning and independent decision making. Creation of a conscious AI requires adaptive code, a slow expensive education, and a specialized quantum computer called a blue box. An AI cannot be transmitted across a communication channel or computer network. Without its blue box, an AI is no more than data files. Loading these files into a new blue box will create a new personality, as variations in the quantum hardware and runtime results create unpredictable variations. The Geth serve as a cautionary tale against the dangers of rogue AI, and in Citadel space, they are technically illegal. Advocacy groups argue, however, that an AI is a living conscious entity, deserving the same rights as organics. They argue that continued use of the term artificial is institutionalized racism on the part of organic oh, life. The term synthetic is considered the politically correct alternative. Ah! Bro, you could tell the same people who made this didn't make the, the remake. That's the same kind of war games that, that they're playing nowadays. Um, artificial is racist. You need to say synthetic instead. And, and, and how many years before synthetic is racist? And then you have to say, uh, uh, like created or some bullshit instead. It's like everyone knows. Everyone knows what it means. Pharos is a habitable world in the Attican Beta Cluster. Two-thirds of the habitable surface is covered with the ruins of a crumbling Prothean megatropolis. 
In the millennia since the Prothean extinction, the ruins have been repeatedly picked over by looters many times. Pharos was considered a poor prospect for colonization, as little open ground remains for agriculture. The only sizable freshwater sources are the poles, hey, which are tapped by the decaying Prothean aqueduct systems. The dead cities, while in good condition considering their antiquity, are of uncertain stability. Ground level is congested by a dozen meters of fallen debris, and the air is fouled by dust. In 2178, the Human Exogeny Corporation announced its intention to place a permanent colony on Pharos to thoroughly explore the ruins. The pioneer settlement was placed on the upper levels of several intact skyscrapers, using the surviving Prothean aqueducts and rooftop hydroponic gardens to support the population. Noveria is a cool, rocky world with most of its hydrosphere locked up in massive glaciers. A privately chartered colony world, the planet is owned by the Noveria Development Corporation Holding Company. The NDC is funded by investment capital from two dozen high technology development firms and administrated by an executive board representing their interests. The investors built remote hot labs in isolated locations across Novaria's surface. These facilities are used for research too dangerous or controversial to be performed elsewhere, as Novaria is technically not part of Citadel space and therefore exempt from council law. By special arrangement, Citadel special tactics and reconnaissance agents have been granted extraterritorial privileges, but it remains to be seen how committed the executive board is to that principle. Given its unique situation, it is understandable that Novaria is often implicated in all manner of wild conspiracy theories. Damn. The Citadel is an ancient deep space station presumably constructed by the Protheans. Since the Prothean extinction, numerous species have come to call the Citadel home. It serves as the political, cultural, and financial capital of the galactic community. To represent their interests, most species maintain embassies on the Presidium, the Citadel's inner ring. The Citadel Tower in the center of the Presidium holds the Citadel Council Chambers. Council affairs often have far-reaching effects on the rest of the galactic community. Five arms, known as the wards, extend from the Presidium. Their inner surfaces have been built into cities, populated by millions of inhabitants from across the galaxy. The Citadel is virtually indestructible. If attacked, the station can close its arms to form a solid, impregnable shell. For really? as long as the station has existed, an enigmatic race called the Keepers has maintained it. The Council is an executive committee composed of representatives from the Asari Republics, the Turian Hierarchy, and the Salarian Union. Though they have no official power over the independent governments of other species, the Council's decisions carry great weight throughout the galaxy. No single council race is strong enough to defy the other two, and all have a vested interest in compromise and cooperation. Each of the council species has general characteristics associated with the various aspects of governing the galaxy. The Asari are typically seen as diplomats and mediators. The Salarians gather intelligence and information. The Turians provide the bulk of the military and peacekeeping forces. Any species granted an embassy on the Citadel is considered an associate member, bound by the accords of the Citadel conventions. Associate members may bring issues to the attention of the Council, though they have no input on the decision. The Human Systems Alliance became an associate member of the Citadel in 2165. Spectres are agents from the Office of Special Tactics and Reconnaissance, and answer only to the Citadel Council. They are elite military operatives, granted the authority to deal with threats to peace and stability in whatever way they deem necessary. They operate independently or in groups of two or three. Some are empathetic peacekeepers, resolving disputes through diplomacy. Others are cold-blooded assassins, ruthlessly dispatching problem individuals. All get the job done one way or another often operating outside the bounds of galactic law. The Spectres were founded after the Salarians joined the Council. 
For many years, they operated in secrecy as backroom problem solvers. Only after the Krogan rebellions did their activities become publicized. Assignment of a specter is less contentious than a military deployment, but makes it clear that the council is concerned about a situation. Mm -hmm. After the Geth secure Ew. location, they round up and impale dead and living bodies on mechanical spikes. Gross! The spikes rapidly transform these victims into withered husks, extracting water and trace minerals, and replacing them with cybernetics. The cybernetics reanimate the lifeless flesh and tissue, transforming the bodies into mindless killing machines. Some Alliance soldiers refer to the husk-generating spikes as dragon's teeth, a reference to the mythological berserkers who sprang up from the earth wherever the teeth of the dragon Eris were planted. Eh. Dragon's teeth and husks Never heard of bear it. little resemblance to other pieces of Geth technology. No one is sure why a synthetic race would bother to drain the minuscule amount of recoverable resources from organic corpses, though the value of reusing them as shock troops is obvious. All right. The Asari were the first species we'll to discover the We got the Solarians the and then we're done. When the Solarians arrived, it was the Asari who proposed the establishment of the Citadel Council to maintain peace throughout the galaxy. <laughs> Since then, the maybe, Asari Vepper. have served as the mediators maybe, and centrists of the Council. An all-female race, the Asari reproduce through a form of parthenogenesis. They can attune their nervous system to that of another individual of any gender and of any species to reproduce. This capability has led to the unseemly and inaccurate rumors about Asari promiscuity. Asari can live for over a thousand years, passing through three stages of life. In the maiden stage, they wander restlessly, seeking new knowledge and I think we heard this one already. When well, the matron I know we stage did, begins, they meld with interesting partners to produce their offspring. This ends when they reach the matriarch stage, where they assume the roles of leaders and counselors. Cars for free, damn! The That's pretty famous. The second species to join the Citadel, the Salarians are warm-blooded amphibians with a hyperactive metabolism. Salarians think fast, talk fast, and move fast. To Salarians, other species seem sluggish and dull-witted. Unfortunately, their metabolic speed leaves them with a relatively short lifespan. Salarians over the age of 40 are a rarity. The Salarians were responsible for advancing the development of the primitive Krogan species to use as soldiers during the Rachni Wars. They were also behind the creation of the Genophage bioweapon the Turians used to quell the Krogan rebellion several centuries later. Salarians are known for their observational capability and non-linear thinking. This manifests as an aptitude for research and espionage. They are constantly experimenting and inventing, and it is generally accepted that they always know more than they are letting on. All right. Well, that's all the stuff. We, we've listened to all the stuff. We got these things over here, but this stuff isn't voice acted, right? So I just don't care. Okay. All right, everybody. Let's get onto the ship, and then we're going to go to space. Tree fitty? You'd pay a whole tree fitty. Damn. Stand by shore party. Decontamination in progress. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. I'm ready. Saren's out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander, 100%. Intercom's open. If you got anything you want to say to the crew, now's the time. Honest with them? Let's keep this short. No, we do the uh, honest with them, I guess. This is Commander for something Shepard inspiring. Like we have inspirational our inspirational option. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be it easy. Manny must do its part. Saren will be ready for us. 
Eden Prime was just the start. Nobody is going. Uh, yeah, humanity must do its part. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. Wherever Saren goes, we'll follow. Wherever he searches for the conduit, we'll be there. We will hunt him to the very ends of the galaxy and bring him down. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped. And I promise you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. Won't let him down. Not if we fail. He doesn't matter anymore. Wow. Hey, I won't let him down. The captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. The Icon King has returned, yes, huh? Yes, sir. Paragon 4. Alright, well. Uh. Commander. Something you need? Ship status report. How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet, if you've got a pilot who knows how to handle her. Balance isn't what you'd expect. Takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core we got stuffed in the back, and her power can sneak up on you if you're not careful. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything but average. I like to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> I can see where this is going. You did a background check on me, didn't you? Well, I'll tell you the same thing I told the captain. You want me as your pilot. I'm not good. I'm not even great. I am the best damn helmsman in the Alliance fleet. Top of my class in flight school, I earned that. All those commendations in my file, I earned every single one. Those weren't given to me as charity for my disease. He talks like he's got that chew stuff in his bottom lip. <clears throat> uh, what disease? What are you talking about? Are you sick? You mean... You mean you didn't know? Oh, crap. Okay, I've got Vrolich Syndrome. Brittle bone disease. The bones in my legs never develop properly. They're basically hollow, too much force, and they'll shatter. Even with crutches and my leg braces, it's hard to get around. One wrong step and crack! It's very dramatic. But I've learned to manage my condition, Commander. He's the glass the man! in my hands and I'll make her dance for you. Just don't ask me to get up and dance unless, you know, you like the sound of snapping shin bones. Why does everyone call you Joker? It's a lot shorter than saying Alliance Flight Lieutenant Jeff Moreau. Plus, I love to make little children laugh. I was just thinking how much you remind me of Santa Claus. Why didn't pick the name. One of the instructors in flight school used to bug me about never smiling. She started calling me Joker, hmm, and it stuck. Why didn't you ever smile? Hey, I worked my ass off in flight school, Commander. The world's not gonna hand you anything if you go around grinning like an idiot. By the end of the year, I was the best pilot in the academy. Even better than the instructors, and everybody oh, no. knew it. They'd all got their asses kicked by the sickly kid with the creaky little legs. One guess who was smiling at graduation. I guess that's it, right? I have to go. Alright, see ya. Alright, so we learned about Joker. We can, we can look in good, Joker! Alright, so now we can just... Who else do we have to talk to? The, the, I know there's a ship doctor. There's probably some sort of navigator. Yep, Navigator Presley. If anyone has to take over for Captain Anderson, I'm glad it's you. I'm not sure about having non-humans on our ship, though. They're on our side. We're all on the same team here, Presley. With all due respect, sir, that's what they said about Nihilus. Look how that turned out. Speak freely, Presley. I want to know if you have a problem with non-humans. It's not that, Commander. Humanity has always handled its own problems. Saren attacked one of our colonies. We should be the ones to stop him. We don't need their help. Mm. It's not just our problem. This is bigger than humanity. Saren's a threat to every species in the galaxy. And I'll welcome anyone who wants to help me bring him down. I guess so. Maybe I'm just stuck in the old ways of thinking. But don't worry, Commander, this won't be a problem. How did you end up assigned to the Normandy? I signed up with the Alliance as a navigator right out of school. 
following in my grandfather's footsteps, I guess. My first posting was on the Agincourt. We were one of Agincourt. the first reinforcements to arrive at Elysium after the Blitz hit. <laughs> Those raiders were no match for an Alliance frigate. I've never heard that before. Of course, I think the it was only reason book. the colony was still standing was because of you, Commander. I can't believe you held out as long as you did. I've heard that name in a book. How'd you end up on the Normandy? I got my officer's commission after Elysium. Must have made an impression on the right people. Captain asked for me when he was picking his crew. Mm, all right, that's it. Carry on, Presley. Yes, sir. <gasps> I guess this is some sort of meeting room where we talk about our feelings. <laughs> Another one, Hayden. We just gonna stare at each other awkwardly? <laughs> Tactics approved. What's your opinion on the last mission? I don't see how we could have done things any better. At least not without getting to Eden Prime sooner. And we were on the scene faster than any other Alliance ship could have been. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal debriefings <sighs> later. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Okay. He seems like a really super side character. He had less information than the Navigator. And isn't he a party member? I don't know. He's starting to look like he's gonna die. D-E-D-D -E -D -D die. Alright, let's see what's down here. We're good. Wait, examine. There we go. Probably went into the technology tab. Oh, we got something over here. Oh, no. I thought that was the computer. I forgot who was there. That goldfish brain. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How well do you know the Lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record, over a dozen special commendations. Why can Tends I ask him about the lieutenant? Was he Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. Spoke and Buffy? Played Spoke and Buffy? I don't know who Spoke is. Oh yeah, we already talked to him about L2s. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. <laughs> Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse, and the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Spoke. Maybe you mean Spike? Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd soldiers. feel like I was abandoning them. Soldiers. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Well, now I'm more confused. Spy? Ache?
I thought Spike was James Marsters, but maybe I'm misremembering. I think this is my room. Personal manual. Yo, look at that. Let's see, we'll, we'll Google the old Seth Green. Oh, that guy, the little tiny dude. The guy who, uh, the guy who, who played dead during Without a Paddle. <laughs> His name was Oz. Uh, hey, General Grievous, his name was Oz. Uh, this guy see when you were saying spike I thought you were talking about this guy yep James Marsters Who's this guy here? What? He played a role in Star Trek too? I don't remember that. Yeah, but that voice does sound like the Seth Green guy. It does indeed sound like him. Is he related to this dude in some way? Nope, Bill Murray harassment at SNL. Okay, so something happened between Seth Green and Bill Murray or something? Who knows? Oh, it's no problem, Private Tomcat. <laughs> Alright, so... Let's click back on the game and have it do all kinds of inappropriate things that I don't like. Yeah, okay. At least it didn't switch screens on me like it does sometimes. Alright, so... Save. Heard Bill Murray could be a dick. Yeah, I've heard the same thing. I've also heard he's just eccentric, too. Like, he's a weirdo. Like he went to some, like he went to some coffee shop or something or a restaurant and like he went to work there for a day for some random reason. Like just, he just does weird things. But yeah, I heard uh, he was the number one reason why a real Ghostbusters uh, 3 never happened before. Um, Egon died. Who was like the brains behind Ghostbusters, obviously. He made a lot of good movies that were funny. Me, personally, I always say, like, um... I think humorous movies are the highest form of art when it comes to movies. I, like, they, 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 they give all these awards to dramas and all that shit, like... Who the hell cares about that? Making someone laugh is infinitely more valuable to, to humanity than, than making some stupid dramatic movie about, like, any kind of stupid drama. Because time spent smiling and laughing is time spent enjoying life. Hey, Commander, you know that quarry in Tally? She's been spending all her time down here asking me about our engines. I'll tell her to leave you alone. What? No, she's amazing. I wish my guys were half as smart as she is. 
Give her a month on board and she'll know more about our engines than I do. She's got a real knack for technology, that one. I can see why you wanted her to come along. I figured she'd be a real asset to the team. You've got an eye for talent, Commander. But I'm guessing that's not why you came down here. Fill me in on the IES stealth systems. How does it work, exactly? You can't hide a ship out in space. They emit too much heat and radiation. Too easy for sensors to pick them up. Unless you find a way to capture those emissions. So our stealth systems trap the energy we give off in storage sinks built into the ship itself. No emissions to give away our location. <laughs> Eventually the sinks have to be vented. More than a few hours silent running and they overheat. Cook us inside our own hull. There's no way for anyone to detect us? A visual scan can still pick us up. Anyone looking out a window can see us plain as day. But you have to be pretty close to get an actual visual out in space. Most vessels rely on scanners. As long as the stealth systems are engaged, they can't see us. Not unless we accelerate to FTL speeds. Why doesn't it work with faster than light travel? Cranking up the FTL, blue shifts our emissions, pushes them into frequencies too high to capture in the sinks. As soon as we make the jump, it's like setting off a flare. Sensors can pick up our location whenever we enter or exit FTL flight, but for short-range missions, our stealth systems are amazing, and we've got the only one. I want to know more about the Normandy. She's the best ship I've ever served on, probably the fastest vessel ever designed, and she's the only one using the new Tantalus Drive Core. What's so special about the Tantalus Drive Core? Proportionally, it's about twice the size of any other vessel. Not only are we faster, but we can run at FTL speeds longer before we have to discharge the core. Where else have you served, Adams? If you name a class of Alliance ship, I've probably served on it. Everything from dreadnoughts and carriers right down to frigates like the Normandy. My last assignment was on the Tokyo. Only a cruiser, but she was a good ship. Couldn't hold a candle to the Normandy, though. All right, that's it for him. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, Commander. We're almost done talking to the crew, learning about the people in the ship. Your ship's amazing, Shepard. I've never seen a drive core like this before. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. I'm starting to understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. The Normandy's a prototype. Cutting-edge technology. A month ago, I was patching a makeshift fuel line into a converted tug ship in the flotilla. Now, I'm sitting on board one of the most advanced vessels in Citadel space. I have to thank you again for bringing me along. Traveling on a vessel like this is a dream come true for me. I had no idea you found ship technology so interesting. It comes with being a Quarian. The migrant fleet is the key to the survival of my people. Ships are our most valuable resource. But we don't have anything like this. We make do with cast-offs and second-hand equipment. We just try to keep them running for as long as we can. Some of the fleet's larger vessels date all the way back to our original flight from the Geth. I can't believe your fleet's still using ships that are three centuries old. They're constantly being repaired, modified, and refitted. They aren't pretty, but they work. Mostly. Mostly. We've tried to make ourselves <laughs> as independent as possible on the flotilla. Grow our own food, mine, and process our own fuel. But some things we just can't make on our own. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials we just don't have. That's why our pilgrimages are so important. Alright, so, three questions. Tell me about your people. Our lives aren't easy. Resources are scarce, and we are constantly on the move. Everything we do must in some way contribute to the continuation of the migrant fleet. There are 17 million Quarians in the flotilla, and each of us relies on the others for survival. The bonds among my people are strong. Unfortunately, we have had to surrender many of the freedoms and civil liberties other species take for granted. What kind of freedoms? Well, it's illegal for parents to have more than one child. If our population grows too much, it would strain our resources to their breaking point. Of course, we also can't allow our numbers to become too few. If our population is in decline, the rule against single births is temporarily repealed. 
In extreme cases of population decline, incentives are even offered to encourage multiple births. Though the Conclave hasn't had to take such measures in nearly a century. That's your government? The Conclave <laughs> is our civilian branch of government. Each ship can elect a representative to serve on the Conclave and make decisions that affect the fleet as a whole. On matters that affect an individual ship, however, the captain has the final say. It's a tradition that dates back to the early days, when the fleet was governed by martial law. Fortunately, most captains nowadays are smart enough to have an elected council from their crew to give them advice and guidance. So the ultimate power rests with elected officials. In practice, the Conclave and the respective so council for each ship tend to set the rules that govern our daily lives. But in theory, we are still under military jurisdiction. The five top-ranking military officials in the fleet serve on the Admiralty Board. These five have the power to overrule any decision by the Conclave in case of emergency. To do so requires unanimous agreement among the Admiralty. And they can only do this once. After that, the entire board must resign their posts. It's a safeguard that served us well. In nearly three centuries, the Admiralty Board has only overruled the Conclave four times. That was a lot of stuff just from the Corians. Holy crap. All right. Geth. I want to know more about the Geth. I doubt I can tell you anything you don't already know. It's been almost three centuries since they drove my people into exile. All I know is the story of their origins. What they were when we created them, and how they turned on us. Interesting. The Geth were originally hey, crispy created bacon. to serve as an automated manual labor force. Half price Initially, laptop? Initially, their intelligence was as limited as any VI. Over time, that sounds they made awesome. small modifications to their programming to allow them to perform more varied and complex tasks, bringing them closer and closer to true AI status. Links don't work in uh, the YouTubes. How come the council didn't step in and stop you? This wasn't true AI research. We may have been skirting the bounds of the law, but we never did anything that was actually illegal. The changes were so insignificant, so gradual, that we were able to control them. Or so we thought. But one thing we underestimated was the power of the neural network. A million geth thinking simultaneously created an inherently unstable matrix. So, the Geth share brain power? Many of the Geth's logic systems were I'll designed out to work in, in concert with Christy other Bacon. nearby Geth. Basically, the more of them you have in the group, the smarter they are. So there's some sort of group consciousness? No, nothing like that. They cannot share sensory data or information. Their programming cannot handle that much simultaneous input. Each Geth maintains an individual awareness and identity. The neural network only operates on a process-based level. It's basically the synthetic equivalent of a subconscious. But when they're in close proximity, they can coordinate low-level functional processes, freeing up more capacity for original or independent thought. That doesn't make any sense. I'm probably oversimplifying. The Geth are incredibly advanced and complex Man, she has a creations. lot to talk about. All you need to know is that they get smarter when they gather in large numbers. As we built more and more Geth, their effective intelligence became more sophisticated, more abstract. One day, a Geth began to ask its Quarian overseer questions about the nature of its existence. Am I alive? Why am I here? What is my purpose? As butter you can my imagine, toast. this caused a near panic among my people. I don't see what's so bad about those questions. The Geth were created to engage in mundane, repetitive, or dangerous manual labor. That's fine for machines, but it won't satisfy a sentient being for long. The Geth were showing signs of rudimentary self-awareness and independent thought. If the Geth were intelligent, then we were essentially using them as slaves. It was inevitable the newly sentient Geth would rebel against their situation. We knew they would rise up against us, so we acted first. 
A general order went out across all Quarian-controlled systems to permanently deactivate all Geth. The Geth responded to this order hey, Soren. violently. It was your fault. You can't blame them for fighting for their survival. We had no other choice. The Geth were already on the verge of revolution. By acting quickly, we had a chance to end the war before it began. The hope was that most of the Geth would still be little more than machines, incapable of organized resistance. But they had progressed much further than anyone anticipated. The war was long and bloody. Millions upon millions of Quarians died at their hands. In the end, we were forced to flee our own homeworld. We feared the Geth would pursue us, but they never came beyond the Vale. Now, we drift through space, exiled, searching for a way to reclaim what was once ours. Uh... Alright, one last... Damn, she talks like ten times more than the second most talker. I want to know more about the pilgrimage. Surely she when won't go on for ten minutes about choice, this. We leave our then I'll check the Discord, uh, Crispy Bacon. It's necessary to maintain genetic diversity among the fleet. But no ship wants to accept someone who will be a burden on them. So, to prove our worth, we embark on a pilgrimage. We set out alone, leaving the flotilla and our families behind us. We only return once we have found something of value we can bring back to the fleet. This is presented as a gift to the captain of the respective ship we wish to join. If the gift is accepted, we are welcomed into the crew. Can a captain choose to reject the gift? Uh, that doesn't happen often. Most captains are eager to increase the size of their crew. It increases their own standing in our society. Even when a gift is not particularly valuable, the captain usually accepts it out of a sense of tradition. However, there is a stigma to presenting a substandard gift. It's not the best way to make a good impression on a new community. Most pilgrims don't return until they find something worthwhile. I can't believe they just send you off alone. It's not like they just cast us out. Before we leave, we are given lessons in how to survive outside the flotilla, and given gifts to help us on our journey. We also receive implants to fight off sickness and disease. Generations of living in an isolated and highly controlled environment have left our immune systems weaker than most. By the time we leave the fleet, we are well equipped for the pilgrimage. This is a rite of passage for all Quarians. If it were dangerous, our numbers would suffer. Virtually every pilgrimage ends with a triumphant return and the ritual presentation of the gift to one of the fleet's captains. I guess that's everything because there's no like continuation. I want to talk about something else. All right. Like what? Like goodbye. I should go. Holy crap. See you later. You are one shady woman. All right, let's open up the Discord here. Your red dot sight loosened up there. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. Uh, Discord. That is one huge link. Uh, hmm. Ports and slots. Features. I mean, what is this? Whoa, that's the that's the price? One thousand three hundred? Holy hell. Is that half off? Or is that the full price?
What's the the full price, uh, crispy bacon? Like, I mean, like, what's the half off price and the full price? Full price. These are 14. Oh, I see. This is the Legion Pro 14. Okay, so versus the Razer Pro 4. Like the. Okay, okay. So this is two different types of laptops, I see. Because I was going to say, I'm looking at. Um, when looking at the Honey thing. It's it's not half. This is not half off, of course. But you're comparing this to a razor one. In fact, this is about. This is its average price here. Um, as far as like for this specific laptop, this is not not for like the power and all that, but just this specific laptop here, is the average price. Uh Razor 14. Let's take a look at this here. Starting, well, this puts the Razer 14 at $1,500 or $1,600. I don't know what all it comes with. Eight cores, AMD, Ryzen. Fourteen inch it has an RTX four forty seventy, and that the same as the other one. Yeah, this one at the for me at the very top left of the screen it says sixteen hundred, but I'm not clicking on buy. Not much RAM though, 32 gigs, that's nice. That's what I feel like is the minimum nowadays. Yeah, they both seem like perfectly good laptops. I mean, they are also both pretty expensive, but, you know, they're laptops, so you got to expect them to be more expensive. I don't know. I'm not good on pricing laptops, obviously. Yeah. Oh, there is a... Okay, hold on. Yeah, there's a 2100 one. So the 1600 one is the cheapest one. And that's the one from 2022. What's the difference? Oh, the one from 2022 only has a 3080 instead of a 4070, I see. Yeah, so it is it is cheaper. Cuz like uh it it lies. It says the price at the top left, but that's but and then it says all the stuff that's in it, but that's not all the stuff that's in it. Because this now, you, in order to get the all the good stuff that it said was in it, you need to go up to the uh, 2100 price. And it probably is more expensive if you want a bigger monitor. Yep, if you go from 14 inches to 18 inches, it goes to $3,000. So that's what you were probably talking about. 
And now it's a 4090 with an Intel i9. Yep, yep, it's completely changed. So now it's a $3,000 computer. Yeah, I can see. Yeah, there's a drastic difference in pricing. Um, the 4070 is, uh, let me click on build on this and see if, if there's like, if it does the same trickery here. Uh, yeah, it gets a little bit, they only come, it only comes with 16 gigs of RAM unless you pay an extra 55. So yeah, that increased the price slightly to 1400. Cause I feel like nowadays you want a minimum of 32 gigs. And if you want, if you want like a, a terabyte of data instead of 500, that's an extra $50 as well. There's only one graphics card option, the 450. That's not, it says a 460 on the outside, but now it's saying a 4050. What the hell? So it just lies? Additional graphics cards are available with AMD Ryzen. Oh, so you have to switch your processor too. So yeah, it's lying. So now I gotta switch, you gotta switch to an 80 extra dollar processor. And now you can get the actual 4070 that it claimed that it was going to give you for an extra 270 bucks. And now it's $1,700 instead of 1300. Yeah. Like it's just like the other website, the, the overall price is still lower, but it's not like that much lower when you get all the same stuff, the 4070 and, and the, yeah, I, it's not actually all that much different. Yeah, because once you... Yeah, because you, you have to change the processor to the, to the Ryzen 7 in order to get access to the... Uh, a, a bit better than a 460 because a 460 they, they, like they claim they're going to give you a 470 for the 1300 but they don't so then you have to pay the additional for, for the 470 and so that comes out now to $1,800 basically and like let me look at the other one again the Razer 14 and try to get all the equivalent stuff on the Razer 14 and see what the pricing is See if it's the same. Because I feel like it's probably going to be close. So now, if we go to buy for the Razer 14, and we keep a 14-inch monitor, which, how many inches is this monitor here? Wait, what? Did I close the... Where's the website at? Did I close it? Oh, here it is. So how many inches is this monitor here that comes with this? Uh, it is a 16 inch monitor. All right. So it's a 16 inch monitor. So if we switch this to 16 inches, then we only have two options, the 40, 90 or the 40, 90 and both of them are one's 2,399 so yeah it, it, if you stay with the 14 inch which is two inches smaller then you can get uh let's see the ninth gen what's what generation is their Ryzen? This is seventh gen Ryzen, and you can you get a ninth gen Ryzen instead with the 470, um, with a 4070 graphics card. 
and how much RAM it doesn't say it just says that it comes with DDR5 Uh, once again, you have to customize it. Wait, it says it comes with a 4070. So it's lying. When I click on this, it's not a 4070, it's a 4060. Bro, these websites lie their fucking asses off, bro. And there's an extra $400 to make it a 4070. Bro, why do these websites lie so fucking much? Yeah, it's a 4060, not a 4070. And it comes with what the fuck? The razor with on like oh my god! I have never seen a markup like this. Holy fuck! The razor is marked up like an insane amount. So sixteen gigs of memory. It's is it how much it comes with at its base price, right? You want the thirty-two gig upgrade, so you get sixteen extra gigs. That'll be a extra five fucking hundred dollars for sixteen gigs of extra memory. That is the most expensive memory on the fucking planet. I have never heard of that. Even like a couple of extra hundred bucks would have been insane. Like if it's like, oh, 200 extra dollars for your 16 gigs, I would have been like, what the fuck? But five fucking hundred extra dollars? Fuck no. Pass on the razor, bro. Holy shit. What the fuck? The 18 inch $3,000 one comes with 32 gigs. Jeez, like, I can't believe how expensive computers are, man. I'm never going to get a better computer. Never. This is insane to me. Yeah, the Legion is a much better deal, it seems like, Crispy Bacon. For, for the power. Like, I can't believe that. Like, let me look at the price difference in the... See here, this is more reasonable. Like... In order to upgrade from 16 gigs of memory to 32 gigs of memory, you pay an extra $55. Like maybe that it's a, like a mistake. Cause like a $50 increase would seem legitimate. And maybe that's what it, it's supposed to be a $50 increase, but they accidentally put an extra zero and made it a 500. It's absurd. Like it's the equivalent of charging like 50 bucks for a can of soup. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, it's like, oh, hey, I'm going to buy this can of soup. How much will that be? $50 for a can of fucking soup. That's how insane saying $500 for 16 extra gigs of memory. I've never seen anything like that in my life. That's like, if inflation keeps the way it currently is, it would take like 20, 30 years before that's a reasonable price for, for that much extra memory. <laughs> I have never seen anything like that. That's crazy. Um, let me see, though. Most affordable gaming laptop brands. Uh, maybe, how about... How about best bang for your buck? That That is a good search term. Best bang for your buck. Because I, I don't want, like, because you obviously don't want a cheap laptop. You want something that's good. I'm just, I'm curious. I don't know what the current best models of laptop are as far as like price to power. So I don't want budget. I keep all, all of them are best budget, best cheap. 
No, I'm not looking for that. How about... Laptop. Best price to power performance. I'm looking for best pot price to performance, like... Best value, huh? Uh... Yeah, see, this puts best for gaming as the Razer 14. Bro, but the price is outrageous. Like, it, that's not, that, that's unacceptable. 16, an extra $500 for 16 gig, gig, gigs of RAM. And I feel like 32 gigs is the minimum you want nowadays. 16 gigs just doesn't always feel like it's enough. I'll be right back. I got to use the restroom. I feel like the the razor people. Someone should call them and be like, "Yo, your website says there's five. It's five hundred extra dollars for sixteen gigs of RAM. That's a typo, right? It's it's supposed to be fifty bucks, right?" It has to be a typo. That shit. I've never heard of anything like that. It has to be a typo. Uh, I don't agree with this website. Because that doesn't seem affordable to me. Um... Yeah, I don't I don't agree with this tech radar website. This doesn't seem legit. 
What about... Doesn't even work. Alright, let's look it up myself then. Alright, so what is this? Specifications. All right, so this one, an i7-1300. Wait, why are the two different CPUs listed? Like, ugh, why is it doing this? Why do you do this thing? There's no prices listed either. What? I don't know the difference. Oh my God, this website is, this Gigabyte website is zero out of 10. I don't even know how to use it. How do they expect people to buy their shit? I'm, I'm done with that website, fuck that shit. All right, so what do you have to say? Asus ROG Zephyr G14. All right, well, how much does it cost? $1,600. What's all in it? Not enough RAM. All right, let's upgrade to the 32 gig, one terabyte model. Jesus. Way too much. And it's only a 450. Yeah, that other website you were showing seems to have a better stuff. This one's 2000. 450. Oh, there's a 500 gig SSD. Yeah, they're charging $150 extra for, for 500 gigs. Such a ridiculous, insane amount of money. Like, I just... What in the actual fuck is going on? Why is this so expensive? Alright, let's try this. Tech specs. All right. What? It only comes with a twenty sixty. What is this real? E14. What the fuck?
Let's go with the most expensive one and see what it says it has. I don't. Why only a 2060? Is this a typo? Why is it such an old graphics card? Barely newer than mine. Yeah, I don't know, dude. Laptops seem ridiculous. I can't even fathom, like, what how they could charge so much money for stuff. All right. I'm going to get back to the game. Sorry, I can't help you with laptops, man. I looked at some different websites. Everything seems insane to me. Looking for supplies? What are licenses? Why do you need them? Manufa I Many right. of the best licenses are hard to get, but they're well worth the cost if you can find them. How often will you get new items? Uh, check back often. I need to move items quickly, so only the most basic items So I guess will my licenses that I purchased Let's see what you've got. are automatically you applied to him or something? Uh... Pistola. Doesn't really have much. Maybe I have to sell him the license? I don't see it. I think it's automatically applied. You cause mass hysteria looking at the gaming laptop. We get basically I'm about to lose my damn mind. Thanks for bringing me on board, Commander. I knew working with the Spectre would be better than life at CSEC. Have you worked with a Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. At CSEC, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. <sighs> Being a Spectre does have its advantages. Exactly my point. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. CSEC's handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate leaving. I hope you made the right choice. I'd hate for you to regret it later. Well, that's sort of why I teamed up with you. It's a chance for me to get off the Citadel, see how things are done outside CSEC. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. And without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. Does it have to be a laptop, Crispy Bacon? I probably, it probably does. You probably like to travel with stuff and whatnot, is my guess. If getting the job done means endangering innocent people, then no. We get the job done right, not fast. Got it? I wasn't trying to. I understand, Commander. Damn. Commander, good to see you. Oh, damn, I can't even talk to him anymore. Commander, I can't ask him on. about his feelings and stuff. Nice ship you got, Shepard. What can I do for you? What's your story, Rex? There's no story. It's true! Go ask the Quarian if you want stories. <sighs> Come on! You Krogan lived for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. That was fun. I heard about that. You know, they almost did the same to us. It's not the same. It seems pretty much the same to me. So your people were infected with a genetic mutation? An infection that makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth? And I suppose it's destroying your entire species? I suppose it isn't all the same. 
I don't expect you to understand, but don't compare humanity's fate with the Krogan. I was just making a conversation. <laughs> but I wasn't pushing trying him. to upset you. I'm pushing him. Your ignorance doesn't upset me, Shepard. As for the Krogan, I gave up on them long ago. The genophage infected us, but it's not what's killing us. Are your people really dying? We're sure not getting any stronger. We're too spread out. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. Lots of species have left their homes and prospered. But they go to colonize new worlds. We're not settlers. We're warriors. We want to fight. So we leave. Hire ourselves out. And most of us never go back. What can you tell me about the genophage? Ask the Salarians if you want details. They made it. All I know, it makes breeding nearly impossible. Thousands die in stillbirth, and most never get that far. Every Krogan is infected, every one. And no one's rushing to find a cure. Why? Why don't the Krogan try to find a cure? When was the last time you saw a Krogan scientist? You ask a Krogan, would he rather find a cure for the genophage or fight for credits? He'll choose fighting every time. It's just who we are, Shepard. I can't change that. Nobody can. So long, Rex. Shepard. So long, Rex. See you later, alligator. <laughs> Commander? Uh, how are we doing? What's your opinion on the last mission? <laughs> Kinda wish you'd got there sooner, Commander. No offense, I appreciate the rescue. I just wish... You wish we'd been able to save the rest of your unit? Yes, sir. If I had been more alert, we wouldn't have been cut down by an ambush. The Geth are perfect ambushers. They don't move, they don't make noise, they don't even breathe. Sir, they have flashlight heads. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Do you have a few minutes to talk one-on-one? -on -one? I'm sorry, Commander. I need to get my duty squared away. I wouldn't mind talking more later, though. All right. Dismissed, Chief. I think that's everybody. I think Sir. I've talked to all the crew. If there's more crew, I don't know where they would be. Are you still with us, Crispy Bacon? I was saying, uh... Are you married to the uh, to a laptop? Like, is that like a thing of convenience for you that you need, you know, space and or transportation and all that stuff? If you are, I understand, you know, sometimes there's limitations, various limitations that require a laptop. And I'm not necessarily sure. I haven't even priced out a, a, a normal PC, so I wouldn't know the, the difference. It might not even be that big a difference anymore. Might be almost the same. All right, we finally did all the talkie talkies. So I guess I gotta just click on the navigation panel and start flying to places. Let's see where we go. Let's see what we do when we're there. Alright, here we go. Right click to zoom out. Left click to zoom in. Select a destination and scan. Uh oh. I was supposed to read it faster. Supposedly constructed by the long extinct Protheans.
Is it Mass Effect, the game where choices determine the outcome? Uh, that's how it's supposed to work. Can I, like... Okay, I'm trying to, like... So, there's no... There's only the Citadel here, so... The Serpent Nebula only has a Citadel as well. Now, galaxy-wise... There we go. Now we got some stuff. Ah, oh, hell, bro. I don't know where, what, where, why we're going to any of these places. Okay, um, here's what we're gonna do. J. Assignments. We got all these things here now we can do. Uh, let's see. Unusual readings. On the serial, we uncovered an alliance patrol report. One of the patrols mentioned something strange active in the Hydra system on the Argos Rio cluster. Okay. Hydro Argos Rio cluster. That's none of these. Hawking. Why don't I... So it's here. Horsehead Nebula. Uh, I don't... You know what? We're going here first. We gotta go through here anyways. What does this say? Hacks? Like... I don't, I, uh, I actually loathe this game's navigation. Like, why doesn't it tell me what's going on in those locations? Like, why do I have to, like, exit this menu, click on this, click on this, like, individually read all the damn things to figure out what the hell's going on? So, what's the name of that place again? Like, I, 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 I absolutely hate this game's, uh, navigation. Like, absurdly hate it. Horsehead Nebula and Novera. Okay. <sighs> now I gotta look through all of these and see if they say anything about Horsehead Nebula and Novera. 80s. 80s. Horsehead Nebula. Okay, so... Go to the Strenus system in the Horsehead Nebula cluster and search for signs of Galroth's brother. All right, so Strenus Horsehead Nebula. Jesus, like, why is this so toxic? None of these say Genus. I'm just gonna assume that it's this one that has like a marker on it, cause like none of these things are called Genus. Sure, I guess, I don't know. Like I have no clue why, why I'm going to where I'm going. I absolutely hate this game's navigating. This is baby slapping bad navigation. I assume that's where I'm supposed to go because it has like a marker on it, but I don't know. Z land, zoom out. 
Like, what if I click on somewhere else? Looks like no options to scan it or anything. Here, well, this one says survey. Matriarch's writing recovered. Scans of the planet Veles recovered a small abandoned vessel. Your salvage team brought the ship on board and dismantled it. Whereupon they discovered one of the Matriarch Dilling Landablas writings. Okay. So we discovered something. And that's everything in this solar system, right? Alright. So now we just go here, I guess. Approach control, this is the SSV Normandy, requesting a vector and a berth. Normandy, your arrival was not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. State your business. Citadel business. We got a Council Spectre aboard. Landing access granted, Normandy. Be advised, we will be confirming identification on arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. What a fun bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. Alright, I guess we just leave, right? I don't know, does any does the navigator say yes, anything Commander. about where we are? Oh, I Carry guess I just on, leave. Alright, let's leave. Yes, sir. Eh. Where's where's the do front door? <laughs> I guess I gotta go downstairs or something. Bro, where's the door? Let me out of this fucking place. Why doesn't it put me next to the door when I land? Like, is it over here? Oh, Jesus. All right, let's see. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged, <laughs> the commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Mental suit, and I'm still freezing. Stay alert. Being cold beats being dead. Hmm. That's far enough. Can I help you? Something wrong, officer? You better hope there isn't. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. Who are you? You first. We're the law here. <laughs> Show some respect. I'm Captain Maiko Matsuo, Elanis Risk Control Services. I'm a Spectre. My name is Shepard. Load of horse crap, ma'am. We will need to confirm that. Also, I must advise you that firearms are not permitted on Ovaria. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. Yeah, shoot him! Citadel authority supersedes yours. I'm keeping my gun. Nobody takes my weapon. Charge and lock! We are authorized to use lethal force. <laughs> you have to the count of three to surrender your weapons. One, two, three. Captain Matsuo, stand down! We confirm their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. 
Parasini-san will meet you upstairs. Behave yourself. Your mama better behave herself. Get out of here. I'm sure Parasini-san will answer any questions you have. So that's the shit they tried me up, man. They tried me up. I had to go renegade on them. That was their fault, not mine. I had to take my damn weapons. I'll take your damn mama. The appeal of winter wears thin very quickly. Turians don't like the cold, Shepard. Did I ever mention that? Weapons detectors, don't mind the alarms. I am Gianna Parasini, assistant to Administrator Analeas. We apologize for the incident in the docking bay. I appreciate your help. You're welcome. You understand our security chief was only <laughs> doing her job. One of my duties is orientation of new arrivals. Do you have any questions? Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? An Asari matriarch passed through a few days ago, Lady Benezia. Saren's aide is here. Can I speak with her? Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. Could you tell me how to get there? You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. Where can I find the Administrator? His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. Pretty heavy security for such a small port. The Executive Board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. I'm not here to dig out any corporate secrets. That's gratifying to hear. Understood. Can we go in now? Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the Administrator's office. Mm -hmm. What the hell's going on in this place? Am I gonna have to shoot all these little robots? Welcome to Port Hanshan, the galaxy's they got most elevators here too? site for oh, independent geez. scientific research and development. For your own safety and to protect the privacy of others, you are required to obey any directions given by our security personnel. Demoted? If you have questions or concerns, our friendly administrative staff is always available. Thank you and enjoy your stay. Who are you? Hmm. The managers warned us about you. The managers. I feel like I'm gonna have to shoot some people, man. I'm trying to be a good guy here. This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanchan. News travels fast here. Indeed, esteemed specter. Your arrival was not greeted with any joy by the companies here. This one has a burden that you could ease. If an arrangement could be made, it would compensate you. This one has procured a special item for a customer. The item is not permitted within the station, but you could bring it through customs. You want me to use my status to smuggle for you? That is not inaccurate. Mm. I won't carry anything if I don't know what it is. This one must be discreet. Rest assured, the contents pose no threat to anyone within this port. I want to know where this package is going. This one's customer prefers to remain anonymous. I'd be stupid to do this without knowing I'm not equipping my own enemies. Your words are not unreasonable. The customer is the Krogan called Inamorda. That one is a bounty hunter of some repute and quick to anger. You understand this one's urgency. That other grows restless from the delay. Maybe later. Right now, I need supplies. Of course. This one apologizes for inconveniencing you. Yeah, it, does, it sounds kind of shady, man. Suspicious. Oh, no. I'm 
I'm on duty, Spectre. I shouldn't be talking to you. The managers warned us about you, Spectre. You're the Spectre, right? Um, management told us not to talk to you. Who's this manager? I feel like I'm gonna have to shoot him. He telling the people a lot of stuff that I don't like. How's it going, Xboxer? No, I'm the protagonist. What's going on over here? It's the one responsible for telling people not to trust me. Don't they know I'm the daddy? How can I help you? How large are the facilities here? We have 17 research complexes built into the mountains. Each is a self-sufficient facility housing a staff of hundreds. Have you met the best character in the game yet? Lilith Heriax. I feel like I haven't seen that name, so probably not. Tell me about the companies that work on Novaria. Over 250 high-tech firms rent our labs. I do Major shareholders as I want. include Elanis Risk Control Services, Binary Helix, and Synthetic Insights Limited. Oh shit, Daki Mushrooms! You got all these words on my screen now. All right, what's this? Whatever. Your guards work for ERCS, don't they? The executive board gets a discount on facility security. Elanis also develops lethal and non-lethal weapons. Binary Helix. They work in genetics. <laughs> BH is a leader in genetics and biotechnology. They try to keep a low profile in the media. Much of their research is in biotic modifications. That angers many Luddite, organic baseline, and fundamentalist groups. I'd like to speak to Analeas. One moment, please. Mr. Analeas? Yes, oh, what, crap. what? There was one more question. Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Right, fine, come in. I wasn't done yet. How can I help you? Uh, corporation. Tell me about the companies that Over 250 high-tech firms rent our labs. Major shareholders include Elanis Risk Control Services, Binary Helix, and Synthetic Insights Limited. Haven't I seen Synthetic Insights in the news lately? They're one of only four corporations licensed by the Citadel Council to develop artificial intelligence. I don't even know why they I'm here, by the way. They attract many protests. No agitators have ever breached our security. That's why they invest heavily here. I've taken up enough of your time. Not at all, Spectre. This is my job, after all. You got some stuff in here I can take? Guess not. You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain space-born vagabonds. I see you looked up my service record. Only a fool <laughs> enters negotiation without knowledge of the other party's tendencies. This greeting is a courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Businesses come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. Are you telling me you have no safety protocols? Don't be ridiculous. Do you think a for-profit company would take no precautions against loss of life and material? Project leads have the final say here, not meddlesome politicians. Oh, shit, I could snitch? Uh, I wonder what happens. I wonder if, like, I can be, he could be like, ah, it doesn't matter. I could always just reload. What does he say? Opold wants me to smuggle a package through security. I need more than your word to act on that. Bring me whatever he's smuggling, and I'll act accordingly. So you'll arrest him. No one here is fond of trials. They make shareholders nervous. More likely, we would simply let him go. 
Of course, he would be blacklisted by the companies here. I'll look into it and get back to you. I appreciate your report. Do you do business with Saren? Agent Saren? One of your Spectre compatriots? He's a major investor in Binary Helix This guy's an asshole. I'm gonna smuggle for backers. that other guy now. Is Binary Helix developing weapons for him? It's possible, given his interests. What our clients do in their labs is their business. I've heard an Asari matriarch is here. Benezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at peak 15. Holy shiitake mushrooms. What can you tell me about her cargo? Large, heavy, and sealed. It passed weapon screening. Beyond that, it is not our concern. What brought her out here? If I knew, I wouldn't be at liberty to say. She came here as Agent Saren's executor. She is here on business for Binary Helix. There were issues at Peak 15 that required Saren's attention. What did you mean by personal escort? The yeah, phrase I'll is self-explanatory. Bodyguards we'll attending to the safety of her person, mainly Asari commandos. Commandos? You didn't think that odd? They followed all our regulations. I had no reason to forbid Lady Benezia <laughs> from taking them. I'd like to see her, immediately. I'm afraid that you cannot. Peak 15 is a private facility in the Scotty Mountains. Regardless, there is a blizzard in the area. Shuttles are grounded and surface access has been cut off. Back to my other questions. Every minute of my time you waste costs the company 12 credits. I will keep a running tally. Do you do business with Saren? I believe I explained this already. He is a major investor in Binary Helix Corporation, which is one of Novaria's backers. I'm leaving. Good. I received a dozen urgent messages while you dithered about. All right, let's see if it does it, whether or not it's Mr. Analeas isn't the only one with a past to leave Henchan. Oh, hold up now. You've never worked in the corporate world, have you, Commander? You can't bludgeon through bureaucracy. So it would seem. I need an alternative. Talk to Lorik Keen. You should be able to find him at the hotel bar. There's can't a hotel say more. bar? Not with an earshot of Mr. Analeas. Mm. Talk to you later. Very well. I'm gonna go straight up to that guy and see if I'm fully locked out. Because I didn't technically turn him in yet. Let's see. Has the other reconsidered this one's plea for aid? Tell me about the job again. This one has procured a special item for a customer. You want me to use my status? That is not inaccurate. I won't carry any. This one must be discreet. I want to know where this package is. The customer is the... You understand this one's urgency? That I have no problem with that. This one humbly thanks the Spectre. The package will be delivered to your vessel. All you need do is bring it to this one. Please do not mention this to Administrator Analeas. That one would levy... fees. Is there anything else this one might help you with? I'm just browsing right now. This one awaits your return. Let's go get that uh, package right away. That way, if we have to reload, we can. Opal's package. There it is. Nice and easy.
Don't mind me, I'm just smuggling some goods for a fella that you guys are trying to be mean to. That's what you get for being mean to me too. <laughs> smuggle, smuggle, smuggle. The limp lizard. Is that the big guy, the Krogan or whatever he's called? Here's your package. Greetings, Spectre. Have you brought the package? Here you are. <laughs> the Spectre has done a great service for this one. From the deepness of light, it thanks you. This one promised compensation for services rendered. It humbly suggests that a sum of 250 credits would be most appropriate. That sounds reasonable. Then this business is concluded. I'm not gonna like hit this is guy. Is there up anything the else the other should to. like? I'm just browsing right now. This one awaits your return. Mm, you Spectre training allows you to immediately restore your squad members to fighting state after they've been knocked out of combat. Heck yeah, dude. <laughs> All right. Now, what were we doing here? Before these people started being jerks to me, making me smuggle stuff. So I could, I could tell, like, uh, there was, like, some min-maxi stuff. Like, I could hit him up for more money and get Paragon points at the same time. But I'm not always going to do that. Like, I said, I'm not trying to min-max the game. I'm just trying to do what I feel like I would do character-wise. Okay. So, wait. Hold on now. What's going on here? Okay, uh, oof, there's a lot of stuff going on here. We got a uh, Mako. And a vehicle. Okay. We have Hotel Elevator. Synthetic Insights. Alright. I guess try the hotel. Because they said something about the hotel. Then we'll try Synthetic Insights, and uh, then I guess we leave. Because the hotel is supposed to be where that guy is, I guess. And this is, like, closed to me anyways, right? Oh crap, my bad. I mean to point my gun at your security guard.
right. Excuse me, I need a moment of your time. The male human at the hotel bar? He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. Have we met? Do you know who I am? <laughs> Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. That makes you ideal for my job. The Solarium. You are a known quantity. Or so Vargas will think. He will assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your... My real intentions. I don't know anything about Binary Helix. What would I talk to Vargas about? <laughs> I represent the Aramali City Council on Thessia. Our town is known for its biotic amp crafters. What's your interest in Binary Helix? They do genetics work. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. We want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement programs. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. Bro, why did everybody got me doing shady shit? It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. You think this uniform's just for show? My job is to enforce the law, not break it. Do you think that Binary Helix obeys all the laws? That they do not spy on other companies? What they might be doing somewhere else doesn't justify my acting against them here. Very That's well not spectrum. true, actually. I'll be on my way. Man, everybody got me trying to do some shady shit. Afternoon. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? Are you Lorik Keen? I've heard you might be able to help me. You are the Spectre that just arrived, are you not? What can an old Turian like me possibly help you with? I'm Commander Shepard of the Systems Alliance Navy. It's too late for cover-ups, Commander. Your picture <laughs> has been sent to every employee. Oh wait, I was trying to cover up? They've been warned that speaking to you is grounds for termination. Lorik Keen. Why is everybody For talking the moment, to me then? I'm the manager of the Synthetic Insights office. For the moment? Mr. Analeus closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. By rents, you mean bribes for Analeus? Indeed. I acquired evidence of Analeus's actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Analeus would be disinclined to let you wander. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. Why didn't Analeus cancel your pass clearance? Why should he? There's nothing outside but snow and hungry Nathak. How did you get a pass? I'm a manager. Most executives on Novaria are free to come and go as they will. You have a plan? I do. However, there is one other... Oh, what is that charming human expression? Fly in the lotion? <laughs> Violence against Mr. Analeus's thugs may be necessary. He has members of Han Shan's security team searching my offices. He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. I'll focus on trying to get your evidence. If I'm lucky, I won't have to fight anyone. Excellent. Here is my pass into our offices. It will activate the elevator. The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. Oh, and do try to keep blood stains off the carpets, would you? What? What sort of office did I make you? Good. I don't think I'm supposed to mention numbers. They'd only write them down on thin strip. Full benefits, of course. Oh, sure. The company takes care of its own. Full insurance, paid vacations, subsidized housing. After a year, I'd start getting stock options. You hear about the resort they've got here? At the equator. Bounce-backing, <laughs> diving, an accredited Asa Eurofield. 
If you like that sort of thing, I'd rather admire the view. Bounce backing? What the heck is that? Right, so we can go up there, we can talk to this guy. Can I help you? We can talk to this guy. You're the specter, right? We can look back here. Let's look at that. Okay, this just goes to nowhere. Let's see. Confirm. Maybe there's some loot or something. Nope. It's just a room of worthlessness. Okay. Off limits to those without a corporate account. Her mama's off I'm waiting, never mind. No, she's not. Don't hang up. Elder brother? It's me. I'm on Navaria now. I can't talk long. This call is costing ten credits a minute. Ten credits a it's minute? It's real time from the Traverse. Did you think it would be cheap? I need some information. There's an <laughs> issue here with synthetic insights. The manager, Laura Keane. He got caught with his toes wet. The office is closed by Hanshin's administrator. I need you to see what you can find out about. Are you ready for his name? Ronadril Gan Swa Fulsum Keratin Nar Ed Bellanaleus. What the hell? No, that's the administrator. The Hanshin administrator. Well, think about it. A Turian wouldn't risk getting his office closed. They don't compromise their team. That's drilled into them from boot camp. I think the administrator is using this keen fella to draw flies from his own clutch. Of course I could look it up myself. But do you think I'm likely to get any unfiltered data through Novaria's own network? That, and it would take forever for any out-system search results to get back here. Thank you, Elder Brother. I have to go. Yes. I'll speak to you soon. I couldn't help but notice you were talking about all kinds of secret information. <laughs> He's just standing over people as they talk about stuff. What's going on here? Look at this. Oh, is this the guy? What do you, what do you want with all this smuggling? Beat it. I said beat it. Oh wait, hold up now. Go find something else to do, stupid mammal. He says different words the more I click on him. If you don't stop poking me, I'll throw you off that balcony. Okay, we're gonna have to F6 because I'm about to poke the shit out of him. Beat it. Oh. I said beat it. I was hoping he was just going to start shooting. Override using Omni Joe. What am I doing in this thing? Oh, damn. All right, let's just do it from here. Unauthorized transmission. Not sure if you received this, Doctor, but it is an imperative that you make your way to the safe location. Your history with an organization has been leaked. Your base in Newton system is no longer secure. I repeat, make your way to a safe location immediately. Who the hell is that? In synthetic insight security disabled, boys. We're just sitting right there in her terminal. Easy peasy. Was there something else we were supposed to do besides go into the synthetic place and get the information? Hmm. I don't know.
<laughs> I wonder what disabling the security did. Either it lets me in without the card, or maybe it stops things from shooting me when I walk around or scanning me, maybe. I don't know. Did I save? Yeah, I think I did save. I feel like I, I'd already forgotten here. Freeze! Hanshan security. This office is sealed. What's going on here? What are you doing in these offices? The administrator's orders. Laura Keene is under investigation. You're here illegally. Analeas is paying you to shake this place down. Does Captain Matsuo know you're here? Hey, I'm not the one who wants Keen. Analeas has a Varen up his ass about this guy. How about this? <laughs> you pretend you didn't see us, we'll pretend we didn't see you. Oh, well, that worked out. Engaging target. What? Go, go, go! What the hell? We're still shooting people? I've lost shields! Bro, I lost shields. What happened? My shields have been lost. Uh, this button. Take this! Oh, wait. Nothing happened. Take this! Uh, I think I have my shields back. Where'd the guy go? Boy, bad guy, where'd you go? Negative contacts. Wait, what? There's a quest in here? Maybe above or below me? This is there's a quest locator right there. From all I've heard, blizzards are quite common here. Must be above me. Floor layout seems awfully familiar. <laughs> oh, what if I hit I? Nope. Forgot I gotta hit I occasionally because you just get random loot from nowhere. I don't even know where it comes from. Download the evidence. Alright. I mean, he's not aggressive. None of these guys are aggressive, right? So. Oh, I see, I see. Now we can. Now let's see what they have to talk about here. I don't think you're supposed to be in here, Shepard. Who are you? I... You have me at a disadvantage, miss. <laughs> oh, now you're gonna show some respect? <laughs> I'm Sergeant Kyra Sterling, Ilanis Risk Control Services. Analeas would throw you off world for what you did here. Who? I won't. You know what we did to cop killers on my world? What? Your men are dirty, Sergeant. You're here off duty breaking the law for bribe money. 
I didn't want to fight them. They fired first. Well, I don't need a gun to rip you to pieces. Oh, shit. Take that, bitch. Yeah, now what? You and your stupid haircut. Yeah, now what? Hmm. Get pooped on. I. Yep. See, you just get loot. I will destroy you. Garius, you gonna you gonna heal any turn? Looking kind of rough, my man. <laughs> it looks like he doesn't regen health. All right. Y'all still y'all red down there? Dummy. All targets down. Had to come in here, wreck this place up. Show me who the real daddy is. I knew that lady and her hair couldn't be trusted. Commander, there have been reports of noise from the Synthetic Insights office. What? Would noise? Would you know anything about it? Don't be coy. Speak plain. What's your interest? Not here, Spectre. Meet me at the hotel for a drink before you talk to Keen. I'll be waiting. She gonna try to bribe me. Let's go all the way to the hotel and tell her to go shove it. Isn't he in the hotel anyways? Popular. What the hell? All right, let's see. Where is this lady at? Allow me to reintroduce myself. Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. Why are you here? Why is an internal affairs agent here? <laughs> the executive board knows about Analeas's corruption. I've been undercover for six months. I want you to convince Keen to testify before the board. With his evidence, this planet can run profitably again. You work for Analeas. Can't you just take his records? <laughs> He's a crook, not a moron. He doesn't keep logs on his computer saying, this month I stole three million credits. What? He doesn't. Keen's testimony and records are everything I need to prove Analeas' guilt in one package. I thought corruption was the rule on Novaria. The rule is don't rock the boat. Self-interest is tolerated if it doesn't interfere with business. Analeas is driving customers away. Why don't you ask Keen directly? I'm Analeas' secretary. You'd think he'd believe me? That he'd meet me in some dark alley with his evidence? I need Keen's garage pass to complete my mission. You help my investigation, I'll provide whatever you need. Favor for a favor. 
Analeus is dirty. It might be best to help her. Look, Shepard, I don't like this either. You specters play fast and loose with the law. That's bad for business. Pay me! <laughs> All right, I'll talk to Keen and see if I can convince him. Thank you. You know where I work. Come talk to me once you know if he'll play ball. Always a pleasure, Spectre. Any news on that matter I asked you to look into? I finished the job, but an internal affairs <laughs> investigator contacted me. She wants you to testify against Analeas. Now that you have my property, you want to dictate how I use it. I have no interest in a public spectacle. You'd be a hero, man! Everyone on this station is chafing under Analeas's extortion. You might end up a hero. My employers rely on the goodwill of the executive board to work here. The board is investigating Analeas. They'll be more angry at him than at you. All right. It is obvious that I cannot dissuade you. Very well. I will testify. Paragon plus 24. Make whatever arrangements you need with your contact, I will wait here. That's a lot of Paragon. That's like one of the biggest increases, isn't it? Yeah, look at that juice. I got a bunch of juice. I can even get a new level of charm now. I just gotta level up again. Now put a point in charm. She. Ba ba. The elevators aren't that bad. I mean, they're not good, but I mean, I've had longer load screens in other games, so they're not that bad. Damn. I gotta go all the way down to the administrator's office again, right? Isn't that what they want me to do? Oh, damn. A lot of running. I can see why the people people were asking for ways to increase your movement speed. This game got a lot of like running around, and and sprinting is fake. Like, look, this is how fast I go when I'm not sprinting. This is how fast I go when I'm sprinting. Notice that they're identical to each other. <laughs> I press the button out of habit most of the time. Spectre, have you given any more consideration to my offer? I convinced Quinn. It took some persuasion, but Keen has agreed to testify. <sighs> That's a world of stress off my back. I'll take the evidence for safe transport. <laughs> I didn't think you'd help me, being a specter and all. I guess some of you can be all right. Doesn't this help you? You don't seem particularly happy. I'm ecstatic, but right now, I just feel like a long day of work is ending. While you were working on Keen, I got you a garage pass. Be careful up there. I have an arrest to make. Wish I had time to change into something easy to move in. I hate skirts. This is an outrage. I'll see that you never work in this sector again. Huh. Yeah, yeah, get That's what you on. get. You, Shepard, I demand you place this bitch under arrest. What? You have the right to remain silent. I wish to God you'd exercise it. See you around the galaxy, Commander. I owe you a beer. Yeah, what you gonna do now? And I leveled up. Charm increase, baby. Look how charming I am. I'm one charming mofo, baby. All right, let's see. I'm, I'm trying to get him real good at sniper rifles. He's gonna be the best damn sniper you ever did, man, dare, did see. I don't know, more hacking? Uh, He's the only one who can seem to do the hacking, so. Can I go on on his computer and snoop? Me. Wall safe, what? Mine now. What you gonna do? What you gonna do, turret? 
I should have known he was a bad guy. He had a turret right in here to shoot me if something went wrong. Now I guess we go all the way back to the thing hotel and tell them the good news. Hey, like run from one corner to the other corner. Then one corner to the other corner. They they back and forth at me with these damn corners. What you gonna say? Y'all still saying don't talk to me? Analeas was running this place just fine before that Parasini woman came along. Look, since the administrator was arrested, our managers are interrogating everyone who talked to you. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if Ghost Shaper pulled the trigger on that laptop. Because he disappeared. Alright. Miss Parasini contacted me as she lifted off world. The board will be taking me into protective custody. I expect I will be testifying in the next few days. Miss Parasini contacted me as oh, she lifted off world. I guess that's it. What sort of we did it. Let's get the hell out of here. I don't think I'm supposed to mention numbers. They don't write them down on this. Full benefits, of course. Ah, oh, sure. The company takes care of its own. Full insurance, paid vacations, subsidized housing. After a year, I'd start getting stock options. You hear about the resort they've got here? At the equator? Bounce backing, diving, an accredited asset you're afield? The hell is a bounce back? Like that sort of thing. I'd rather admire the view. Maybe they meant backpacking, but like because of a typo or something? I guess I'm done here? This... Oh, no, no. I still have to go to the... To the... The thing. I'm about to find out how it is to pilot a Mako. The elevator is one thing people complain about. Someone murdered our people in the Synthetic Insights office. Wonder who could have done that. What? Who did that? That's crazy. All right, people complain about this Mako stuff even more than the elevator, so we'll see how that is. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's do a hard save. Oh, wait, this isn't. This isn't, uh, this is a security section thing. I think the Mako thing's up here, right? Yep, garage. Access to the garage is restricted. I have a hall pass. I have authorization. Excuse me. Yes, that's genuine. Drive safely. The weather's supposed to be pretty bad out in the Alutsk Valley. Got them crazy eyes. Why you got them crazy eyes, girl? Who gave you them things? What the hell is that? What in tarnation? I'd say these are what the matriarch had in the crates. Why can't I crouch and hide? I'm jammed. I'm being jammed. How do I... How do I stick to the wall? Oh shit, what the hell? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, what the hell? Oh, shiitake mushrooms, what in tarnation is going on here?
Bet you won't lay next to that thing again. I guess they won't. Use your sniper rifle, man. This little shooter didn't need to be shot. I couldn't resist. For me. I should, I should, like, start equipping some of this stuff. I've looted a ton. Surely I've gotten an upgrade by now. Is she gonna get up? Damn, girl, why did you just stay down? My people have dealt with the corporations on Noveria in the past. I thought you were supposed to they be good. well, and they don't ask any questions. What did you do here, Commander? I defended myself. I defeated, defend, defeated a Geth ambush. The Geth ambushed us. We fought back. That's it. <laughs> Geth, you expect me to... Bro, there's dead bodies. Where did they come from? If I were to guess, the matriarch packed them in the shipping container she arrived with. I don't believe that. We did thorough scans of those. There were no power sources, no element zero masses. If Benezia Sama's containers were packed with these things, there are many more out there. I need numbers, Captain. A dozen? A hundred? Dozens, at least. They're machines. You could pack them tightly. I must report to the executive board. If word gets out about loose geth, there may be an investor panic. Woman, what the hell happened? I thought you were supposed to be good at, like, unlock the rover. Rover, rover, over. Upgrade kit, huh? What? I can't get up there? Save. Fuel tank. There were fuel tanks I could have shot. Fuels contaminate cell. Mako. This is the vehicle. So what is this thing? I thought this was the thing I was going to be driving. Use the standard movement keys, the spacebar trigger, the Mako jump jets, and returns you to the Nomandy. Right mouse fires the Mako cannon. Left mouse button uses shit. Oh, oh, crap. I could have used this during the fight? Is that what they're doing here? How do I move forward? How do I get out of it? Uh, crouch, spacebar, E, play. Roll. Like, there's no, there's no way to get out of this. Oh, what the hell is this? I'm hitting every key on the keyboard. I used Omni Gel for something. Oh, Q. Okay. Jesus.
All right, so this is what I really drive, right? So let's let's load. Wait, what? This is the quick save? 1639? Yeah. It's not where I, I am, though. Like, why doesn't it save a picture where I am instead of giving me some random-ass picture? All right, so I'm going to hack this again, but this time... I know how to get out. Wait, what? From all I've heard, blizzards are quite common here. Apparently, you can you can't hack it once you've left. Uh, once you reload. That's strange. Whatever. Left mouse button to fire. Use the shift to zoom in. Yeah, see this one works. That other one didn't work. Oh God. Is that death down there? I don't know. I feel like that's death down there. Oh, gosh. get out oh look at that my I got a hazard thing going on um, the appeal of winter wears thin very so I all right let's finally take a look at this stuff like surely I have a better pistol I've looted like a hundred of them you gotta be kidding me like Bro, why are all the weapons in this game dog shit? Alright, so let's try to get this guy a better sniper rifle. Alright. There's not a single weapon in here that's a clear upgrade. Alright, let's see. The least amount of accuracy, but the most amount of damage per shot. But it's like half the accuracy, dude. I think this uh, hammer, too, is the way to go. A little bit less accurate. But 20% more damage. Alright. So I'm not using armor piercing one, right? Maybe there's armor piercing two or something. Radioactive chemical. Shield bypass minus damage.
Combat Sensor 1. Didn't I get Combat Sensor 2? I guess give him a better assault rifle if we can here. So Banshee 2 seems to be a complete upgrade. Banshee 2 is 144. We'll give him the Banshee too. And... Damage, rate of fire, max accuracy, heat absorption. I guess improve sights? I don't know. What about... Can I do that for his sniper rifle? Yeah, there we go. Surely I have better armor now, right? Oh, dear lord. All this. Still don't have better armor. Toxic seals, shield battery, generates kinetic barrier, suits rely on capacitor, stored energy, plus 45 shields, shield regenerator, shield recovery, stimulant pack, cooldown reduction, health regen, I like health regen. Can he wear better armor? Oh, same thing. forward because I can't shoot down that's fake uh, here let's get out because I want to loot this anyways I think we're good Shepard I got an extra med gel huh there we go let's heal everybody up then take this Mama's taking damage. Bro, why won't these people die? Do you see the size of this gun?
Negative contact. Seeing if there's anything behind me. I saw that thing to my left. Let's get that thing to my left now. Oh, look, I see, uh, I see the thing now, the Mako, it's right there. And it, it's got like a shield that's like slowly filling up and by slowly I mean slowly filling up It's like right over there behind this. Ah, got him. Yeah, now what, huh? Combat sensor, all right. How often can I shoot this thing? There's something right over here. Just drive towards it, I guess. Excuse me. Nothing personal. What? Something shooting at me? How dare they? Got it. Negative contacts, Commander. I probably have to turn all the, like, get all this stuff emptied out of my inventory soon, right? Because most of this is just trash. What? Are they shooting at my thing still? Like, there's nothing on my contacts. What? What'd she say? What? Who the hell is shooting in from where? I can't see anything. How do I undo this? There we go. Bro, they got like infinite range. All targets down? What are you talking about? What? There's something up there? I think it was like inside there or something. Uh, take that, you bastards.
There's none. That's what you get. They got infinite range, these dudes. I think I just blew up some mines. As linear as this is, this is still better than freaking Starfield exploring. <laughs> At least they gave me a vehicle. Them in, them in their infinite range, bro. They're trying me up. Is someone else still shooting me from infinite range? I don't like how they know where you are at all times, no matter how far you are. Do I have to tell my companions how to use their abilities, or do they just use them? It's like I gave her all kinds of like jamming stuff related to robots and I don't know if she's using it. I can save. Yeah. I feel like I've gone quite a ways. Is that something? Ah, it's already shot at me. Baddies. Y'all don't want to open up the door for me? All right, all right, all right, sure. Can I point my cannon into the door? Open, says me. <laughs> open up. Secured. 
Oh, they got the airlock. Couldn't just point my cannon in and do the business. I'm wearing an environmental suit and I'm still freezing. So if I look at her character here, like I got her jacked up with all this hacking. Like recharges your tech of proximity mines more grants AI hacking ability, which makes artificial enemies go berserk and attack each other. She can sabotage enemy weapons too, but I don't know if she's actually doing any of this. More advanced robots? Maybe it's because she couldn't do advanced enough robots. There. Now she's got Max hacking for her thing. And he's got yet another point in sniper rifles. And assault training. Increases melee damage, weapon damage, grants adrenaline boost. And I'm just gonna keep doing spectral training. Spectre, I mean. The appeal of winter wears thin very quickly. already down. Watch out. Why can't I aim at him? Plus shield. Oh. The F button didn't work. Is that a bad guy? Isn't there a bad guy up there? Why is he not using his giant sniper rifle? Like... M... Uh... Eight? Uh... There we go. There we go. I mean, you got like a sniper rifle. There's a Kogan up there. Okay. actually make them you can just force cover, I didn't know that. Powering up. You just barely healed him in time. 
Oh wait, I got a grenade. What? Why didn't it explode when I hit the button the second time? Why did I hit the button four times before it exploded? User alert. All oh damn, they give me all kinds of things. All, right. all peak 15 facilities have suffered a great deal of damage. Biohazard materials present throughout facility. Virtual intelligence user interface offline. We'll need to get the reactors back online. Y'all need to stop getting damaged so much. Use cover and stuff. So they don't chick they don't pick like whatever they think the best weapon for the situation will be. They just do only what you tell them. Well, that's not good. Oh, come on, man. Now I can't do it. Oh, I can do it again? Oh, nope, I just have to use gel now, I guess. All right, whatever. It's facing the wrong way. They want to keep their people in as much as they want to keep others out. Yeah, definitely gonna have to start selling stuff. You guys said like the 300 or something. I don't know how much item, how many items I have, but I feel like I'm probably getting close to that. I've looted a ridiculous amount of stuff. They get like right up next to you. Destination blocked. What about the other one? Why am I? He didn't come in. What the? Okay, cutscene. What was that? Mom? Animals, wind. This place is in bad shape. The hell is that? Like that, huh? Oh. 
sacrifices must be made. What were those things? Your mom? I've never seen anything like them. Maybe someone in the labs knows. Bro, they're in the history books. They're crawled ads. Open the door. Oh. A medical kit, hold up. Y'all y'all good being healed? What? It had zero gels in it. I got baited, bro. I wasted gel for nothing. in the ceiling or something perimeter secured I punched that alien in the face by the way apparently I'm badass oh I'm out of I'm out of grenades that's unfortunate let's see what we got going on here no more points Got more things coming up ahead. Take cover. All targets down. Yeah, this is why I'm the daddy. A backup power system, Shepard must be for the station mainframe. It should be easy to fix it. Critical startup error. Virtual intelligence user interface offline. Manual boot required. But you said it would be easy. Electronics lock offline, please. Consult station virtual intelligence. The hell's all that sound? Wait, 27, four? Well, that's if I was to convert it, okay. Virtual intelligence. Bro, I hear all kinds of weird noises. I ain't trying to trick me. To the core, onto your mama. Oh hell, where's my peeps? <laughs> the hell is this? Module stack two, two, three, react. What, what am I supposed to do? Bro, I have no clue what the hell I'm supposed to do. this like what is even happening
This is gibberish. This is like nothing happens. This isn't a puzzle. What the fuck is this? This is not a puzzle. What the fuck are you supposed to do? This is not a puzzle. This is just clicking on random shit and seeing what happens. fuck is happening this is not a puzzle you gotta be fucking kidding me can anyone explain what the fuck this is this is literally nothing. There's no logic in this. This has zero logic. I have never seen anything like this in my life. There's no fucking logic to this. Like, there's nothing. It's just hitting random buttons until something happens. There's zero logic in anything that's happening here. I have never seen anything like this in my life. If this is supposed to be a puzzle, this is literally the worst puzzle ever made in the history of humanity. There's nothing. There's no logic. I'm pulling up a video. There's no fucking logic to this. This is not a puzzle. This is not a fucking puzzle.
I have never fucking seen anything like this in my life. Like, there's nothing here. This is not a puzzle. This is not a puzzle. This is just clicking on random buttons until something happens. Holy fuck. This is the worst puzzle ever made in the history of humanity. Like, this is fucking insane. I have never seen anything this fucking poorly designed in my entire life. This is not a fucking puzzle. I'm pulling up a video. This is not a fucking puzzle. I did all of these things that they're doing. I did everything here. That actually did not work for me. That did not work for me. Like, I'm literally on the same thing. I don't, I don't know. I have no fuck included. This is beyond stupid. I have never fucking seen anything like this in my life. Why won't it just go in? I, I've, 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 I, this is beyond, this is the dumbest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, I don't I don't fucking know, dude. I have no fucking clue. This I I can't I can't fathom something this fucking stupid. Like I've never seen anything like this in my fucking entire life. Like I need like a step by step fucking the like, guide on what to do.
This is insanity. This is insanity. This is insanity, dude. What the fuck? Holy fuck. This is the worst puzzle ever invented. This, like, someone deserves to die. There's, this is not a fucking puzzle. There is zero logic to this. And the game fucking bugged out on top of that. What is even the puzzle? I don't even know what the fuck the puzzle is still. You just click on random shit until things happen. I am blown a fucking way. Holy fuck. I am over 40 years old. I have never fucking seen a quote puzzle in quote like this in my entire fucking life a critical startup error virtual interaction user interface offline manual booth required this is not a fucking puzzle this is just clicking on random buttons and it's worse than that. It's worse than clicking on random buttons because the buttons don't work 90% of the time. It's just clicking on random buttons and trying to get something to happen. There's literally zero logic in what's happening.
I have never, I, I have no fucking words, dude. This is the dumbest thing I have ever seen in my entire fucking life. trying to restore this facility. Would you like help? You're the virtual intelligence that runs this place? This system is monitored to respond to the name Mira. May I ask your name? Commander Shepard, I work for the Citadel Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. One moment, please. Council authority confirmed. You are entitled to secure access of all systems. Please note that queries relating to corporate secrets require privileged access. Privileged access is only available to Binary Helix executives. This system is ready to process queries. You may access me at any holographic interface within Peak 15. I need to find Matriarch Benezia. Lady Benezia departed on the passenger tramway to the Rift Station subsidiary labs. User alert. The tramway system is currently inoperable. What's the situation here? One moment, please. Diagnostics in progress. Critical failure. Main reactor shutdown in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Critical failure. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger tram systems are offline. Report complete. Do you have an additional system status query? Do you know why the reactor was shut down? I'm sorry, but I was offline at the time. Shutdown could occur if reactor breach seems likely, or in the case of catastrophic laboratory containment failure. Emergency guidelines suggest the frigid environment will kill biological contagions. It may also damage mechanical ones. Turn off the heat and hope the cold puts whatever you've unleashed to sleep. Nice. What do I need to do to get the power back on? The valves to the Helium-3 fuel line must be opened. This can be done at the controls on the reactor assembly proper. What are the landlines, and why are they disabled? The landlines connect my mainframes here at Central Station to the various sub-facilities of Peak 15. This allows the crew to remotely access my databases from the comfort and security of their labs. When emergency protocols were implemented within the hot labs, the cabling was automatically ejected. How do I reconnect the landlines? The landlines are designed for easy reconnection. The router for the landlines is on the roof of operations. Simply activate the controls and the hardware will reconnect and reboot automatically. Tell me what happened here. I'm sorry, but I need a more specific query. Tell me what occurred immediately before you shut down. Stage 1 alert issued at Hot Labs. Contaminants released from Laboratory Pod Gamma. Emergency protocols implemented. Stage 2 alert issued at Hot Labs. Isolation 2 breached. Tram shut down. Landline to Hot Labs disconnected. Stage 3 alert issued locally. Contaminants in tram tunnels. Station shutdown and evacuation initiated. Code Omega sent. What sort of contaminants escaped? I'm sorry, Commander. Inquiries related to our research require privileged access. Only executives of Binary Helix have that level of clearance. The creatures we've encountered here, did they come from the labs? I'm sorry, Commander. 
Inquiries related to our research require privileged access. Only executives of Binary Helix have that level of clearance. Why were you taken offline? In the event Peak 15 must be sterilized for security purposes, my program and data are purged. They kill you if something goes wrong? My systems are permanently disabled. To be killed, I would need to be alive. I am merely a database program. I need instructions on how to repair the station. Critical failure. Main reactor shut down. Critical failure. Report complete. Do you have an additional system status query? That's all I need right now. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. User alert. Nah, fuck that shit, dude. Mass effect. Worst in any video. Worst puzzle of all time. Some say that the Tower of Hanoi puzzle in Mass Effect, this is an AI saying this, by the way, is the worst puzzle they've ever seen. Only one disc can move at a time. Only the top disc can be transferred. Larger discs cannot be stacked over smaller discs. Huh? Why didn't it tell me that? That might have helped. That last thing. Let's see. Uh, what's uh? The tower puzzle in Mass Effect 1 is infamous among players for being challenging and potentially frustrating. In this puzzle, you need to navigate through a series of platforms and activate certain buttons to progress. The combination of the platform mechanics are somewhat unclear, somewhat unclear, and the consequences of fail falling off the platform. What? Uh, that's not part of it. However, All right. I am curious about something here, though. Uh, let me reload. First, I need to save. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Are we good? Right. A backup power system, Shepard. Must be for the station mainframe. Critical startup error. Virtual intelligence. It said you can't stack a small a big tower over a small tower? Is that what it said? What was the, um, or it, wait, what did it say? Uh,
Larger discs cannot be stacked over smaller ones. That's not true. That would make the puzzle unsolvable. The, la the very last thing I did was I stacked a larger disc over a smaller disc. So no, that's not true. So, I wouldn't be able to put that there, but I could put it here. Okay. So then I could put this here. Okay, so that's how it moves. But I can't put this here because it's a larger disc over a smaller disc. But I can put these here. And then I could put that there. And then I should be able to theoretically put that there. And then I should just be able to do this. Because, well, there's a smaller thing there, right? Shouldn't that have worked? That should have worked, right? So why doesn't that work? That, should, that totally should work. Okay, explain to me why I could put that one there, but I can't put the other one there. That don't make any damn sense. So this one should go... Then what I should be able to do is um, backwards. But why doesn't it work backwards? That doesn't make sense. So I should be able to put this one here, and then I should be able to put this one here, and then this one should go there, and then this should go there. Why didn't it tell you that rule? It looks like you're trying to restore this facility. Would you like help? Why that doesn't it tell you that rule? Who are you? This Don't you think that should be important? To to the name Mira. All right, I need to take a break. It should tell you that the, it should tell you that you can't stack. And even if you can, even if it does that where you can't stack the bigger one over the smaller one, it does work because it worked that one time. The first time I solved it, I stacked a bigger one over a smaller one. So why, how the fuck did it work that time? That doesn't make any damn sense. Like, the puzzle breaks its own rules. And because it breaks its own rules, how the fuck are you supposed to know its rules unless it tells you the rules? If it tells you the rules, and you know that, that you can use the rules to complete it, then whatever. Then you could do just like what I did there, and I completed it. But because it can break its own rules, then you can't 
understand the rules by observing because then it does the opposite of that. I know for sure I stacked a bigger one on top of a smaller one. What the fuck ever. That is a terrible, terrible design for a puzzle. Got to change this but yeah if it if it told you the rules or at the very least it didn't break its own rules at any point then it would just be a bad puzzle but because it breaks its own rules and it doesn't tell you its rules it's the worst puzzle in the history of humanity i've never seen anything like that that is like beyond dumb but once you know all the rules, you can solve it pretty easily, like I just did there. The thing is, is that I want to know why it allowed me to break the rules the other time. I, that doesn't make sense. Whatever. I'm going to make some soup.
I'm eating up some comfort chicken noodle soup after that damn puzzle. That's how shit is outrageous. I never experienced anything like that in my entire damn life. back with my soup. I wonder, so when I tried to look it up online to see what the hell was going on, there was pictures of big buttons over the things. I wonder if the buttons help like if you click one to move one it doesn't highlight where you can move it unless you can move it there type of thing Maybe there's a help section. Like there was a button I didn't know I could press that tells you the rules or something.
when I finish my soup. I'm gonna go over the puzzle and how it works. I still don't understand how I was able to break the rules once. That doesn't matter because you could solve the puzzle without ever breaking the rule. I mean, the rules. All right. Okay. So look at this. Because all it just says, it says to stack, um, stack them up in either row two or three. There's no other rules. <laughs> See? It doesn't give you any information at all. Like, question mark, maybe? No. So, the obvious thing is that when you take, it takes from the top. So you can't take anything from here and here. The other rule... Let me see if I can do it like this. Yeah, I think... So big, right here... There were big buttons that would display on the console version of the game. And I have a feeling those buttons made the puzzle easier. Because... Yeah. They did. So the rule is, I can't put something bigger over something smaller. So what I- but what I can do is like take this and then take it that and stack it on top of that, right? So if I put this, if I put this, I can put this here or there. So then, I, but I can't put it here, but I can put it here. But I can now stack that back there because it's a small on top of a big, which now allows me to move that off of there. But I can't move this anywhere because it would be on top of the thing. So what I would do is move this here and now I can move this on top of that. And now I can put this here. And now I can put this off of the first core, which is the hardest thing to do is to get that off the first core. Once you got that off the first core, then you can start stacking them up in other locations. I want that there. Now, because I can put smaller on top, so now I would take this and put this here. I would take this and move that out the way. Now I can take this and put that there. And now I can put this on top of that. Like, they have to tell you the fucking rules of the fucking puzzle. It looks like you're trying to restore this facility. Would you like help? You're the virtual intel Commander. This system is ready to pro- User alert. Report complete. Very dog shit. 
User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Shut your mama down. Manual restart required. User al alert. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger trams are offline. Alright, so... Reactor or... Tram. Wait, what? Elevator roof? Wait, what? Where's the, um... Where's the other thing? They said there's like some sort of cable thing. I guess that's on the roof? I don't know. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Now exiting to the roof. User alert. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger trams are offline. Oh, damn. There's like a hundred dudes. Bro, how many of these dudes are there? User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with what? emergency containment procedures. You hit me one time. Manual restart. Re Bro, they hit me one ass time. Delete quick save. There we go. They hit me one damn time. Alright. Those things do a user too, alert. Too much damn damage. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment I need procedures. More grenades. Manual restart required. Y'all don't have any grenades? Now exiting to the roof. User alert. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger trams are offline. I guess I gotta spam eels. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Oh, I'm gonna go one here. User alert. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger trams are offline. Mama's been hit. Stop doing that. Shit bypasses my shields. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. User alert. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger trams are offline. There we go. The aim is back again. And this game's glitchy. Perimeter secured. Landlines repaired. Connections restored. Processing new data. User alert. 
Unable to connect to hot lab facilities. Tell me what happened here. I'm sorry, but I need a more specific query. What's the status of Rift Station? Rift Station, Station has been locked down by the staff. There are presently no contaminants within the facility. The staff is alive then? Yes, though the number of personnel is below the official staff count. What's the status of Rift Station? Rift Station has been locked down by the staff. There are presently no contaminants. Give me a status report on the hot lab. I am sorry. The network connections to the labs have been damaged. Data is limited. Give me an overview of the facility. The hot labs isolate dangerous biological or cybernetic contaminants during development. The complex is built within a glacier. In the event of an accident, it can be irradiated and sunk into the ice. That's all I need right now. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. How do they have a puzzle like that that's not a puzzle? And then they have another puzzle that is a puzzle, technically, but they don't tell you any of the rules of the puzzle. Are you still here, by the way, King Rat? User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Oh, oh the wacky inflatable tube man. <laughs> I didn't realize I pulled a wacky inflatable tube man. Maybe it was the weather. Somebody's mama needs to be slapped for that puzzle. Where did you even just come from? Just been hit. Man, your mama's been hit. That's the last of them. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. You're still handing in? Alright, cool, cool. Yeah, that, like, should I figured out how the puzzle worked and I'm able to do it, but man, it's not, I, that shit ain't a real puzzle, bro. Like, you gotta tell people the rules, I was saying. I know that has to be like a notorious puzzle. I would, what's that? What did I do there? I opened the trash can for some reason. User alert. Main. Geth Stalker. I'm gonna go over here. Uh oh. I'm gonna go over here. I prefer gun games where you can switch your handedness. Bro, I see you in front of that damn door.
Inventory. Plus one medical gel. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Yeah, take that, you jerk. I thought that guy was dead. Is that an ability I can equip? Maybe that's what that is. Look, next time I'm gonna have Master Unity. 90 seconds. Hmm. All right, I think I have to hold spacebar. Aha! Alright, what is this, by the way? Uh, overheats nearby enemy weapons? Uh, a barrier? Damage enemy shields? Uh, I should take these things, huh? What? It overrides it? Zero out of ten. Throw sabotage weapon. No, no. There. So, so I can buff myself, which is something I'd want to do every time. In the barrier. So I'd like want to do those almost every time. But I'd want that on the easy button to know. So I guess one. And then, so one is revive. Two is a buff I do every single time. Three is a buff I do every single time. Then, there's overheat weapons, there's throw, I guess, four throw, and overheat weapons, and uh, overload shield. I don't like the controls of this game. Like, I gotta like press one through six, one through eight to use my abilities, it's like weird. I suppose I could probably do it like this. Oh, look. They are using their abilities because some of them are on cooldown. And I can tell them to use an ability. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Oh, look. I can tell them to do a thing. Oh, okay. I'm under... Ah, what the hell? User alert. I'm understanding... Um, combat a bit better. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Look, I can sprint. Oh, what the hell is that about? What are they shooting at? Fatigue. Bro, is he really that out of breath that fast? Yeah, look at that. Oh, 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 God. Oh, ooh, ooh, ah, ooh. User oh, alert. God. Oh, Main reactor oh, shut down oh, Lord, in accordance with emergency oh, containment procedures. Oh, I ran for so long. Manual restart oh, required. Oh, 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 gosh. Oh, and my breath is back. Could you imagine? Could you fucking imagine that? Look at the bottom left of the screen. Watch this, watch how fast this bar fills up. And I'm exhausted. Now look how long it takes to get unexhausted.
I have User seen alert. 500 pound Main people. reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment Ooh, procedures. healthier than this man. Manual restart required. This man can run 20 fucking feet and then he's exhausted for like three minutes. If he runs 20 feet, he's like, oh, oh, God. Oh, give me three minutes, bro. I need three minutes. I cannot believe that, man. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment pres- The AG3 fuel lines cut. You have completed repairs. I can plead your mama. There's no way to get to that, right? I don't see a way to get to that. What are you doing? What the hell? Oh wait, it's four. Clear. I forgot I moved it to four. The primary problem with the puzzle is that they didn't tell you the rules. That's the number one problem. The secondary problem is they allow you to break the rules. And I don't, I don't know how I did it. I don't know if it was a bug or something, because the puzzle did bug out at one point and they had to restart the game. I don't know if it was a bug or what, but they allow you to break the rules. So they don't tell you the rules, but then they allow you to break them at the same time. You know what that means, right? It's like not really possible to infer what the rules are because it's like, if, if it's like, oh, the rule is I before E, except before C. And you tell that to like a five-year-old and then they're like, oh, okay. And then you're like, and then you show them a word where that isn't the rule. And you're like, wait a second, but what about this one? And they're like, uh, or you say I before E, but you don't tell them the except before C type thing. And they're like, what about that? And they're like, oh yeah, apparently except before C. And then they show you a word where it breaks that rule too. And you're like, well, what? why is that rule broken? And they're like, eh, that's what, you know, it, it just is. That word doesn't work the same. Like, what do you mean it doesn't work the same? Why? It just doesn't. <laughs> Fucking assholes. I feel like I'm missing something, because I'm, like, distracted and upset. But I don't think I am. So that's why if you're not in combat, you don't have the ability to sprint. It does this fake sprint. It's because if he actually sprints within two seconds he is exhausted for three minutes he's like oh shit Ooh. oh god oh boy. i feel like i just ran a marathon oh i can't breathe oh please help me jesus a grammar rule thing and gilliger
Yeah, English is apparently one of the hardest languages to learn in the world. Online. Connected to subsidiary facilities. How may I assist you? What's this about loose contaminants? Dangerous biological agents are present in the tramway decontamination chamber. The tram station has been sealed in the interest of crew safety. Activation of the fail-safe plasma jets is recommended prior to access. <sighs> How do I activate the failsafe system? Controls for the failsafe systems are located in the security checkpoint outside decontamination. User alert. The failsafe system is currently inoperable. What would it take to get the decon failsafes operating again? There is a hardware fault in the control system. This can be repaired on site using a standard Omni tool. Tell me what happened here. I'm sorry, but I need a more specific query. That's all I need right Very now. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. supposed to go like she told me but I don't know what that those words mean what why couldn't I punch I was literally standing next to him for like three seconds without punching. I don't understand. Why didn't I continue User punching? alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Wait, what? I gotta do all Manual this shit again? Manual restart required. Holy fuck, bro. This game is garbage. Plus shields. Your mama needs help. The game devs need fucking help. This is some dog shit right here, bro. What, can you only do one melee attack per second? I mean, per minute? User alert. I was gonna say per main second, but not like three seconds pass without another melee attack coming out. So. I guess Manual his melee attacks are required. a lot like his fucking running. He throws one punch. He's like, all right, boys, I'm a professional boxer. Here we go. Hoo! And then he's like, all right, I need a three minute break. I threw one punch. I need a three minute break, everybody. Like, what the fuck? Wait, why am I down here now? What? Why am I all the way down here now? Are, like, did it load two different saves? Man, what the fuck happened? Man, what is this dog shit game? User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual Dog restart shit. required. Over there. Man, fuck your mom. Bro, I shot that thing like 12 times. Did you see that? I'm just sitting there shooting it for 12 minutes and nothing happens. This motherfucker can shoot us straight as far as he User can run. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment Which procedures. Which is approximately two Manual inches. Manual restart required. Which is probably the size of his penis. Some dog shit, bro. Plus shields. This is a zero out of ten game. Uh, how is the game going? Bro, this is some dog shit. That's how it's going. 
like it disabled like you can only User melee attack alert. once per Main two minutes shut down maybe four in accordance minutes or five with emergency minutes containment know. procedures maybe once an hour Manual i don't know restart required i died like and there's no fucking checkpoints in this game I did all this shit already, but it's making me do it again. Because they don't know how to do video game design. And the only reason I fucking died is because I did a melee attack and I'm like, oh, okay, well he's, I only gotta hit him one more time and he'll die. And I'm just sitting there. And like three seconds pass and my character won't melee attack anymore and then I get killed. I'm like, what the fuck? Can you really only melee attack like once every five or ten seconds or some shit? User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency That's containment all I can think. procedures. Manual is that you would only melee required. attack once every like ten minutes. And now all of a sudden, like, I just instant die. It reloaded me back like fifteen minutes back behind where I was. User and alert. now I just die Main in one hit every shut fucking down time. In accordance with emergency containment procedures. Take him out! Look at this. Look at this. You saw that? He missed that target 20 times, maybe more. I have never. This is a bad video game, guys. User this, alert. Th is the second Main one better? Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency. Look at this. How am I overheated? I shot three bullets and I'm overheated now? First off, why did all the bullets miss? Second, how the fuck did three bullets overheat my gun? User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Why did it take like Manual 20 shots there required. and three shots the other time? I did melee attack. I'm locked out of melee attacks for 20 minutes now. I got about about three hours from now, I'll be able to do another melee attack. I'm just, I'm User just trying to alert. milk it. I'm waiting Main for my melee attack shut down to come In back. accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. I can't even shoot. My gun was locked out. Did you see that? You do a melee attack and your gun's locked out for like a good 10 seconds. Oh look, I got to shoot my gun more than three times before it overheated this time. What the fuck is wrong with this game? User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Bro, Manual restart required. Why is my character... Explain to me why my character is shooting... Like, I'm aiming here and my character is shooting down there. I can't aim my gun anymore, by the way. It's been disabled. Like, I can't, I can't aim my gun. It's unaimable. Like the aiming feature has been disabled. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Why can't I aim Manual right restart required.
I'm sorry. But someone with no arms or eyeballs can shoot straighter than this guy. And he's supposed to be a professional? User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Where's the, um, can I aim the gun now? Will it let me? There it goes, I can just, I can aim now. Like, what is this bug? Why does it keep disabling my aim randomly? All right, uh. Here we go. So I can fix this. Like, I, I went through all this effort of getting all this shit arranged and then it just randomly died on me. Uh. Oh wait, do I have to like level up again, don't I? You can wear medium armor, oh my lordy lordy. Is it dampening that's you? Okay, yeah. Um, I feel like I'm missing something. I thought there was like something, wait, I do have more stuff now. Why wasn't this ability here? All right, so that marksman ability is, yeah, yeah, marksman and then barrier or something I would want to always use. And then after that, I said it was like this for throwing and then like disable this and then disable shields, right? And that's all the abilities. Can I take someone else's ability and drag it? No. All right. Why can he shoot straight User down? User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. What's the difference? Manual restart required. Oh, uh, hold on. This is a hospital thing. All right, I'm back. This is the fixed version, lol. I did install a mod that's supposed to fix a bunch of the bugs, but obviously not all, because I don't even understand what the hell's happening. The AG3 fuel line's cut. Like, shouldn't that be a checkpoint?
secured. If the area is secured, why is save still disabled? Oh, now save is not disabled. But like, make up your damn mind. I'm gonna blow that thing up. How'd you go about that? Huh? How's that feel? Man, I wanna slap now them in the mouth. Fun. That's what your mama said last night. All right, so. <laughs> Explain to me how the autosave system is so bad in this game that the last autosave was an hour ago. I can't say it's the worst autosave system I've ever seen. I've seen worse. Like I've seen ones that like autosave in a way in a way that breaks the game and you can't move anymore. Like it just loads and you die. Shooting a 40 tomorrow. We'll see if Shepard hits a barn before then. <laughs> Online. Connected to subsidiary yeah, facilities. Shit. How may I assist you? What's this about loose Danger content? The tram station has been sealed in the interest of crew. How do I activate the failsafe system? Controls for the failsafe systems are located in the security checkpoint outside decontamination. What does that even mean? User alert. The failsafe system is currently inoperable. What would it take to get there? There is a hardware <laughs> fault in the control system. This can be repaired on site using a standard Omni tool. <sighs> Tell me what happened here. I'm sorry, but I need a more specific query. That's all I need right Very now. Very well, Commander. Man, Logging I want to slap out. some people in the mouth. Why can't I open this? Remember how I was able to open a trash can that one time? It's getting darker. The trash can's getting darker as I shoot it. What the hell? I'm the daddy now. All right, well, I guess that's as dark as it gets. Wait, hold on. I'll use my mind powers. I moved it to four, right? Take that. Why is it looking over there? What? Is there something inside the wall or something? I think I know why he doesn't shoot straight at all. Because you have to activate the ability to shoot straight. Like, they give you an ability that you activate that makes you shoot straight, is my guess. And so therefore, in order to make the ability not worthless, they have to make you shoot crooked. I'm looking at, okay, so that's how it works. Take that, and this, and that, and this. Wait, none of those things worked. I pressed all the buttons. The buttons didn't work. Yeah, all right, whatever. I mean, they worked, it's just they had no effect. What's the point in these abilities if they don't do anything? <laughs> I guess I'll activate the shoot straight ability. There we go. It lets you shoot straight and faster. That's the last of them. Where is this security thing they were talking about? Like, they're like, oh, it's located in security outside the contaminated area. There's no security. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? I assume I just, like, try to go to the tram and I'll just see a security place? Now 
entering decontamination and transit hub. User alert. Loose contaminants in the decontamination chamber. Access to passenger tramways inadvisable. Oh, okay. Decontamination chamber. So this is where I do it at. So if I come on here... They're locked in. I could bypass the door. It looks like the trams to the subsidiary stations are beyond it. Why would I buy? Why would we do that? Open computer. Control group, loosen them. They're in. I can't escape. Back the tunnels now. We're sorry. The leads couldn't get to the final struck. Without why you can. He killed himself because he was part of whatever happened here. There must have been something he could do to help his comrades. It opened that time. The other one didn't open. Skill too low. Plasma repair plasma surge. Electronic skill too low. You. I don't have any more electro ah shiitake mushroom. Oh damn, bro. Ah damn. Online. Connected to subsidiary facilities. How may I assist you? That's all I need right now. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. What is her electronic skill? Surely she can do it. Didn't she have like, she's like got like infinite hacking. Uh, uh you. Bro, she got four electronics. How is that not enough? Plasma purge. I'm gonna look this shit up. Plasma purge. Repair Plasma Purge. Why can't she repair it? Repair Plasma Purge. All right, I'll check the Discord. You mean the map? The Missouri Territory? Yeah, I saw that a long time ago. When you posted it. Well, not when you posted it, but... I saw it a few hours ago because of, um... Crispy Bacon posting a thing and telling me to look, check it out. Ah, I see, Soren. I can't find anything that says how much skill I need. Because, like, doesn't her skill count? Plasma. You have to have 
chorus with you to be able to do this. What? Um, like, why doesn't anything tell you how much skill you need? So I was leveling up her skill because I thought her skill would count, but apparently it doesn't. Plasma. Oh, it says you could repair it with Omni Gel. Well, why doesn't it give me the option? Repair. It doesn't even give me the option. Is it like because you. <sighs> Bro, this game is dog shit. Okay, I gotta, I gotta leave the fucking place and then save. <sighs> We're witnesses some zero out of ten gameplay, uh, bro. Is it not gonna let me save? All targets down. Okay, I was about to say. All right, this will let me test something here. Now entering decontamination and transit hub. User alert. Loose contaminants in the decontamination chamber. Access to passenger tramways inadvisable. Okay, so it still doesn't give me an option here, right? So if I uh, oh boy, this takes a long ass time. All right, so that's one hundred. Let's see what it says now. Still no option. get it to 200 and then see if anything changes I think it just doesn't let you use Omni like I don't think it lets you use gel for it for some reason it does let you use gel for everything else I didn't even really think about the fact that it doesn't let you use gel for this God, this is so tedious. Yeah, you just can't. It just disables the ability to use gel. That's... Um... Strange... Decision... Game, video game. Now entering decontamination and transit hub. User alert. 
Loose contaminants in the decontamination chamber. Access to passenger tramways inadvisable. You can use gel to fix everything else, but not this, apparently. Hey, this is some dog shit. <laughs> I think it's dead. I should shoot at the other one. Why was it- why did it let me use a melee attack again? I don't understand. It let me use a melee attack again. Online. Connected to subsidiary facilities. How may I assist you? Tell me what happened here. I'm sorry, but I need a- Very well, Commander. Logging you out. Oh. Let me heal them. Is I heal over time, but I don't know if they necessarily do. Why is her health red? Like my health is red sometimes. I don't really understand the difference. Like they'll have a full health bar and it'll be red. I guess I'm done. Departing Central Station. Destination Rift Station. at Rift Station, Binary Helix Research Facility. It better have autosave then. See, his health bar is red. My health bar is red again. But my health bar isn't full. Like, I don't understand why health bars turn red. Elevator hot lab, science station, elevator mess hall. Dude, this place is big. Oh, damn. Restricted area. How many locations are there? Emergency exit. Oh, 
Why can't I save? There's no enemies anywhere around where I was. Dude, dude why is that on fire? <laughs> like, that's your lab symbol? A beaker that's on fire? <laughs> like, Jesus. Bro, there's no enemies anywhere. Explain to me what the fuck. Why can't you save? Oh, now I can say, oh my god, this game. I should slap you in your mouth, video game. Explain to me why I shouldn't slap you in the mouth. Let me move over here now. This is why would they let me save here before? What changed? They're like, well, we felt we didn't feel like letting you save. Now we're going to let you. This shit's as arbitrary as that damn puzzle. Making up the damn rules as it goes along. Wait, is that a person? Stand down. Sorry, we couldn't be sure what was on the tram. Can they run a train? Can those things work a train's controls? Hell if I know. I'm not assuming any goddamn thing. Look, you're human and that's enough that I won't shoot. But I'd like to know who you are. <laughs> I'm a Spectre. My name is Shepard. I'm a Spectre. Huh. I won't look a heavily armed horse in the mouth. The aliens overran the hot lands <sighs> last week. Only Han Olar got out, and he ain't all there anymore. The first we knew, the bastards were clawing into my command post. We had a lot more staff then. You did well. You were taken by surprise and had civilians to protect. You did a good job, Captain. Yeah. Sure as hell doesn't feel like it. The board sent an Asari to clean up the mess. She went to the hot labs yesterday. We haven't heard from her since. I'll see what I can do. I'm not going to let any of your people die. All I can do is hold out here and protect that the That sounds civilians. like I might be There's able to let them die. There's an emergency elevator out by the trams. This card will let you activate it. It can take you down to the hot labs. Oh, and if you need any first aid, Dr. Cohen's downstairs in the med bay. Oh, my damn. How are your people holding up? We weren't expecting the initial wave. They made it inside. We lost some good people. Those of us left are short-handed. We've kept order by long shifts and stems. I don't like it, but I don't see an alternative. Yeah, I think heavy armor, shotguns, and immobilization is a thing. I think that I think that was the right advice. The combat feels not good, but maybe those things would have made it feel good. How are your people holding up? We weren't expecting those of us left are short-handed. We've kept order by long shifts and stems. I don't like it, but I don't see an alternative. You're certain the matriarch is still in the hot labs. She hasn't come back here. You came through Central Station, so she ain't there. <sighs> did the aliens come from inside the facility or did they attack from outside? You want my personal opinion? Labs like that exist to do stupid crap that gets people killed. Didn't I just ask that? I can do that Did again? the aliens come from you inside? You want my personal opinion? Labs like that exist to do stupid crap that gets people killed. Tell me about the structure of the hot labs. It's built into one of the glaciers <sighs> further down the mountain. Real old, thick, stable one. Something goes wrong, they heat it up and sink it into the ice. Normally, the crew gets to the labs using a tram from Central Station. We've got an elevator that connects directly, but it's for emergency use only. Uh, listen, I'm not sending my people down there. It's too dangerous. You understand? Okay, so we did the hot labs and the things. What about, did I ask about the Benizia? You're certain the matriarch is still in the hot yeah, labs. Yeah, I did. She hasn't come back here. You came through Central Station, so she ain't there. I need to know more about the situation. The facility's off the network. The only way to find out would be to send scouts down the elevator, and I won't send my people to their death. Okay. So aliens, I guess, and then this facility. 
What can you tell me about the aliens? Ask Dr. Olar. He's the only one who made it out of the hot labs. He's the only Volus left in here. Tell me about Rift Station. I can't talk about everything. What? What do you need to know? Yeah, bitrate. Looks like bitrate. Uh, all right, let me send a message here. Let me uh, let me do a test here. Tell me about Rift Station. I can't talk about Tell it. Tell me about the defenses here. Secure enough that you shouldn't poke in corners. I was just impressed with your operation. Being able to weather a week of assaults is no mean feat. Only the best get assigned to high security facilities like this. What impresses me most is the turrets, alarms, and cameras. They're all routed through a central location out by the quarantine labs. One guy can lock down the whole facility. The security hub's the last logical fallback, and we'd have cover from the turrets all the way. What kind of research is done here? Beats me. I'm not supposed to know. So long as people don't start dying, it's not my problem. I've got work to do. Yeah, I hear that. What? Hell! Man the perimeter! Go, go, go! Go, go, go! What? Did nobody die? Clear. <sighs> Thanks for the help. Every few hours a group comes up the tram tunnel. It's actually better since we locked down the elevator. I'll do whatever I can. I don't know why they keep throwing themselves against our defenses. Even animals should learn not to stick their noses where it hurts. Alright, so now I can save? 